Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to Planet Icarus. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We're like halfway through the week, or for those of you who are maybe on the other side of the world for me, it's already Thursday already, so you gotta jump on the day. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we're headed back to uh, to Icarus to do some more uh, some more missions. We uh, we knocked out another one with Nate the other day. That was fun. Messy, as always, when we play together, but fun. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna do a new prospect tonight. We... Uh, Last time I played solo, we unlocked the, uh, the, the we completed the Ice Run Expedition, rather, to unlock the Arctic area. Uh, there is one called Dry Run Expedition that's apparently supposed to be about finding a pathway to the desert. That I'm assuming, like, as we go out in the tree, probably the missions down here will be focused on the Arctic, and the missions up here will be focused on the desert. I'd kind of like to have both of those sets of things open, so I can kind of see what's down there and up there. Um... But yeah, I thought that'd be fun to uh, to tackle for today, and I think it actually has a pretty decent sized reward too, so that would be all right. Uh, from our workshop, if you didn't catch it in a prior stream, we have the um, the first level of the, uh, the the axe we can bring with us and the pickaxe. Uh, I also made a, the the new suit, so we have a, a spot for water, and I did unlock the uh, the the speed movement buff modifier thing we can put in the suit, but then I realized. After I unlocked it, I didn't have enough to actually craft it. So we got to get a, a few more credits before we can do that. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. If you're watching on the channel afterwards, welcome as well. As always, big thanks to everyone who's uh, clicked on that join button to become a channel member. I really appreciate all the support. Uh, special thanks also for everyone who just subscribes to the channel and uh, has given me so much support over the years. Uh, YouTube sent out a, an update for the for 2021. Showing like how many views and stuff we'd had and how, much, how many hours of watch time people had watched and... Uh, what our most viewed video was and stuff, which was kind of neat to see. So, you know, I want to really appreciate everybody who spends so much time watching the content and enjoying it. I really appreciate all of you. Uh, but a special thanks, of course, to all of our top tier Mistakes Are Made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. Uh, so we're going to jump into this uh, this new mission up here, Dry Run Expedition, and see if we can find our way to the desert. This is Major. UDA's given Lagos the go-ahead to expand operations. They're looking for data on the deserts. If you can get in there, it'll open the place up for scanning, prospecting, and a whole lot else. There's a lot of questions here, and they're paying top dollar for answers. Choice is yours. All right, this one pays 125. No, it does say difficulty hard. I don't know exactly what will be hard about it, but we have to find our way to the desert, and I think we actually have to, like, drill through a wall or something. Uh, at least that's what it was like in the beta. So the, the mission might have changed a little bit, but that was kind of what it was all about when we uh, uh, when we did it before. And thank you for the heads up about the uh, the title. I did remove multiplayer there just now because uh, it's definitely not multiplayer. That was left over from when I was playing with Nate the other day. Rick Fox admits some of that is from people listening to you at night for the ASMR. Probably. It's entirely possible. It's funny sometimes, um, like when you go into YouTube, there's a creator dashboard that has analytics and reporting. And I can see what people are spending time watching and, and uh, how much time they spend doing it. And it's interesting sometimes to see the, uh, the, the hours of watch time on some of the older content. It's interesting. What was the most watched video? <laughs> Ironically, it was a video, a video that I didn't put up in 2021. It was a video I uploaded in 2018 that was a tutorial from Oxygen Unincluded about how to build a little compact electrolyzer room for making oxygen. So, you know, funny about that. Was that a new effect? I don't remember this thing, like, pushing out the coolant when we landed. That's cool. The desert's a blank on the map. It's time to change all that. But first, you gotta find a way in. Exploration teams reported a cave system. Could be a path down there. But that was the last anyone heard from. Legos has dropped components for a heavy drilling rig. Could be useful underground, but you'll need to collect them before you head down. Drop nice. zones in the cave area are marked on your map. It ain't your first rodeo, but this is Icarus. So don't let your guard down. I surely won't. So we have to get the uh, the drilling equipment and then find our way to wherever it is we actually have to use it. Uh, last time it was in a cave. I'm assuming it'll be something similar again this time. We can see by the areas that aren't X'd out, we'll probably have to go up to this region somewhere. 
Uh, judging by there being less space down here, so that's cool. So I gotta we'll gather these pieces and then head up there. But, as always, we don't have anything when we land here, really, aside from the few basic tools we have. So we're gonna have to build, uh, build a little bit of a base to be able to get things set up first. Current guard status? Down. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't have any arrows, so I gotta, gotta make some of those. And there's a wolf. Perfect. Actually, I want that wolf. Oh, it didn't kill it. I kind of thought that would. Ah, missed me. Alright, I'm gonna take this wolf with me. Because I'm not ready to skin it just yet. I don't have a skinning knife or anything, and I would kind of prefer to use... Well, I'll leave the wolf down here. It might actually attract other wolves, for one. And two... I might be able to use a skinning bench on it if I get things set up quickly enough. Biggest plot hole. Send you down to a planet to do a mission for them and give you nothing to help out. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh... It's kind of like we work for a non-union company here or something. They're like... Listen. Well, we, technically we don't even work for them. We're, we're like... Freelancers or something. So maybe that's what the deal is. Alright, I'm gonna get, uh... I'm gonna get a building built, like, right away this time. I'll try to get the skidding bench as soon as possible because the, uh... Oh, actually, do I have talent points I can spend? Someone was telling me there's a logging skill that lets it just, like, automatically pick stuff up when we cut it down. Seasoned Logsman. Chop wood is automatically added to your inventory. Boom. I'm gonna take that, because that'll save just a lot of clicking to pick things up. Not that it's hard to pick stuff up, but... Whatever saves me some extra clicking has got to be helpful, right? Upgraded toilet, plus five to logging. Yes. Yes. You're like, Stardate 657.2. Captain's log. Darn thing won't flush. It's gonna be weird now, though, when I chop stuff up, and I'm expecting to see the pieces on the ground, and I don't see them anymore. It's because slaves slash employees are cheap. I don't think we're even employees in this. I think we're... We're contracting out our services as, like, an individual who, uh, came here for, like, an opportunity to get wealthy or something. I don't know. Like, they're, we do missions for these syndicate things, and they do pay us, but clearly they're not, uh, they're not equipping us. This auto pickup is kind of handy. So whoever mentioned that in the chat, I can't remember who it was. Uh, someone dropped a comment on the last stream. Or on the video of the last stream, anyway. That's a good talent. I like that one. Kind of like games like this where there's a lot to pick from, because you know you you might find like you have your own personal preferences and stuff that you want to pick for your talents, but you can't get it all, so you got to be choosy. How much have I got on me here? Uh, a little bit. Get down one more. <laughs> yeah, we're living the lumberjack life. So there was a patch today that apparently fixed the uh, the whole issue with uh, snowing inside buildings as well as a few other things. So if, if we do go back to the Arctic on another mission, at least we won't have to deal with snowstorms inside of our building anymore. Space Uber. Spoober just sounds wrong. Like I don't I don't know that we can I don't think we can support that name. <laughs> Uh, alright, let's go ahead and make, uh... I'm make like a dozen of these, I guess. I kind of want... I'm going to build my base over the water this time. We'll see what happens with this. Go a little bit offshore. Uh, I need another row of these. I think I could just stand on top of it and do it. Poor guy's getting all wet. There we go. Now we need floor. There we go. 
Sorry about the uh, the screen going black there momentarily. The for some reason this game doesn't play nice with OBS. When I uh, when I click off the game, it just instantly goes black for a moment. Uh, did I make enough? I think I think I need two more of those posts. Oops, not three, two. We'll go this way, I guess. Nope, I did need three. Darn it. <laughs> Snap for me. There. Very nice. Okay, what do I need wall wise? Two. What am I, four wide here? Eight, ten, twelve pieces. That was a mess. Ugh. I really should make one of those knife things so that I can deal with these things when they're right in my face. That's better. See, this is gonna be a problem. No, I didn't mean to skin it. Ah, oh. oh well. Guess that's fine. Trouble is now the wolves aren't gonna come to where the carcass was. All right, this one here we need a door. Over here I'm gonna put some windows. Try to be all fancy like. There we go. Got a view of the lake. It's beautiful. Oh, the plant light's coming through though. I don't want that. There we go. Get out of there. Need a door. Finally got power back. Town had three tornadoes heading for it. One past three miles away. Two dot. Wow, that's a lot of tornado power. Not for the first time. I'm happy I don't live in a place uh, that suffers from tornadoes. Ah, uh, I'm short on fiber of all things. Wait, can I make a bone knife sickle sight? There, there we go. Look at that. Oh, we have all kinds of fiber in a moment. Oh, we should get some berries too. It's a lake house, that's right. We got like a little vacation home over the water. Lots of room to expand there, because you know it's a lake. We can keep building out over top of it. I think I'm going to need to chop more trees, though. I don't have enough wood to finish the job. Uh, and then also build the benches that I'm going to need inside. Hopefully those, uh... Hopefully those wolves don't despawn too quickly. I don't know how long the bodies will stay there for. I haven't really played it out to see what happens. I thought you lived in southern Ontario. We do have tornadoes now and again. Yeah, but they're not... They are nothing like what they get in the American Midwest or whatever. They got like the big powerful ones that sweep through and just obliterate cities. Like we get twisters. They're not really even tornadoes. I mean, granted, they're they're like categorized as a tornado, but they're like like a tornado level one or whatever. But I've never had one anywhere near where I am really. Instead, we suffer from frostbite. Not even that, to be honest. So, uh, I mean. Southern Ontario is is not not as bad as like Northern Ontario or some places out west in uh, in Canada. Western Canada gets a lot colder, so you get to like the the Rocky Mountains. And when you get over those, things get a little warmer in Vancouver again. Snow is uh, sort of an uncommon thing out there. Um, but in terms of like Southern Ontario, it's really not uh, it's really not that bad anymore. Sometimes we'll get a blizzard or whatever, and we'll get we'll get a cold snap for a short duration, but uh, it's not like it used to be. Okay, need four of these. Now I can start building structures already. Benches or whatever.
I have to change up my design a little bit too at some point. Can't have this. Can't have the same building every time. Look here, dog. <laughs> I. You know what I just realized? Oh no! The okay, the carcasses do go away. Uh, well, that's good to know. Let's. Oh wait, or did that guy want to get eaten? Which one was the first one I did? I better skin this one just to make sure I don't miss out. So they definitely don't last. <laughs> Which I guess makes sense. They can't have like bodies laying everywhere in the game if you don't skin them. But we'll keep that one intact because I do want to skin it. That will give me all the fur that I need from that one that one body pretty much. There we go. In order to make our bed roll. Uh, we're need crafting bench. The <laughs> wolf ate it? I mean, it could be. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it did go over there and eat it and then... Come find me or something. What do y'all uh, what do y'all call tornadoes? What we it's called dirt devils. Yeah, I, like they have. Don't get me wrong. There have been tornadoes in Canada. Uh, occasionally, there's been some that are on a little bit on the stronger side, but really nothing like what you see in the U.S. Just regularly, it's insane what you guys have to deal with. I don't think we can we can legitimately call our stuff real tornadoes. Uh, skinning bench. Oh, I need more leather for the skinning bench. I do, huh? Alright. Get some from this deer over here. Seen in Edmonton, it's minus 20. Yep. Edmonton, Edmonton is, uh, is out west. So, um, here today, uh, Celsius, why, what was the temperature today? Hey Siri. What was the high temperature today? So today the high was 12 degrees Celsius. I don't know the exact conversion off the top of my head, but a simple rule of thumb is usually double and add 32. So it was in the neighborhood of like 70 degrees today in southern Ontario. Minus 20 in Edmonton, but that like out in the out west, like uh, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, Alberta, they get that intense cold, and we often just don't see that too much here. We get it's we had really wacky weather here this year already, but I think we're also affected by the tornadoes that went through south of us. They kind of moved the jet stream a bit. You're in Toronto? Well, hi Rick. I'm not in Toronto, but I'm not far from Toronto. Canadian tornadoes are seventy percent the value of a US. <laughs> That's right, there's that thirty percent discount for the exchange. <laughs> Yeah, it gets cold out west. I don't, uh, I used to live in, uh, I used to live in outside of Winnipeg. It's, uh, it gets cold out there. There's no, that's no lie. Um, alright, I need a little bit more leather so I can make that skinning bench. How much fur have I got? Actually, I've got 13 already. Maybe I'll just skin this one and we'll go and get another one. Hey, Scott, how's it going? Uh, I broke my knife. I don't know if that got me enough leather. I'm the 17 for was uh, was it 20 leather that I needed? Yep, there we go. Okay, not a bad start. Right off the bat, we got ourselves a fancy. Uh... What does this need? That needs leather too. The crafting bench and the skinning bench right off the bat. That's gonna make things easier. Not necessarily easy, but easier. Now we gotta go and do just a little bit of hunting to get some fur, and uh, we're just about ready to set up for the night. Oh, I probably want oxygen too, because that whole breathing thing might be helpful. Should probably maybe focus on that a little bit. <laughs> oh, and I'm gonna save this pickaxe for working on metal now that we've got some basic supplies. I'm gonna go ahead and make a uh, stone pickaxe, I guess. Oh, I am bleeding. Oh. Probably fix that, too. Wasn't looking at my debuffs. Maybe some stairs? Yeah, we'll do that, too. I might even put, like, a front porch on the thing. Does everyone have snow? It's not snowy here. We're getting all grass. The ground isn't even frozen here yet. Okay. 
Oxygen we have. Uh, I do want to make the, uh, the oxide machine, dissolver machine too, but we're going to need a little more leather before we can do that. Which is going to require a little bit more hunting. Oh, actually, while I'm at it too, I might as well make some cloth armor to wear. This might even be handy in the desert anyway. Real men don't need oxygen. I guess I'm not a real man then. I got to do that whole breathing thing. <laughs> Stealth attack. Blammo. Northern Arizona got some snow, really? I'm telling you, when, they, when, you, when you get those big batches of tornadoes that come through, it, it tends to mess with the weather in a really wide area. Um, I know I killed that thing. Where'd it go? Was it closer to the trees here, maybe? Oh, there it is. Choppy choppy, that's 15 fur all by itself. That's already enough to make a, uh... Make a bedroll with what I got. Uh, all right, I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a porch. So one, two, three, four. I need five posts, and then like four of the flooring pieces. If I can get it to actually. Oh, hello, wolf. Stupid wolves! God! On the plus side, we can skin this one. A good source of leather and everything right off the bat. Okay. Uh, I actually might not even need these posts now that I think about it. Looks like it's only going to put it above ground level anyway. Oh, hey, bunny. Unfortunate life choices, choices, rabbit. Unfortunate life choices. Okay, I actually don't need those posts. I can actually just uh, put the floor down here, I guess. It's gonna touch into the ground a little bit, but whatever. I don't care. Hey, I leveled up! I can see this is going to be a problem, some problem, some spot to have a house because the the wildlife is just wandering right in. <laughs> like, maybe I should have put it a little bit farther into the water. Like, no end of wolves here. Okay, let's get our, our bed roll made at least. Uh, there we go. Craft up one of these jobbies. I gotta put my campfire inside today and just hope for the best. Hopefully we won't have an issue with things burning down. Make sure we put it far enough away from my bed, though, that if I have to respawn, I don't end up stepping in it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay, what are the benches going to make now? Let's see. Uh, can't bother with that yet. Skinning bench, no. Mining bench, we need iron ingots for that. Masonry bench, uh, need iron for that. Herbalism bench, I guess we can get. Oh, I should get the oxide dissolver too. That's probably something I should prioritize. That whole breathing thing. That's back to haunt you if you don't do it. Longbow, bone arrows, O2, water bottles. Yeah, lots of stuff to make. 
no end of resource requirements. Minor showers approaching. Which on this planet are never really all that minor. Florida's God's waiting room? Oh, that's so rude. <laughs> Players just want to help you improve your bow and skinning skills. That's so nice of them. I mean, on the plus side, they're bringing me XP every time they arrive. The wolves in particular give me like 1,400 on kill and then like another 600 or something when we get to skin them. So I guess I shouldn't complain too loudly. Alright, let's close up shop here. Let the storm go by. We can focus on our crafting instead. I need to make uh, torches, but I don't have any... I don't have any of that fancy uh, sulfur stuff. They got lots of wood, though. That was quick. Alright. Make a bow. Get ourselves a water skin. Like your style of building. Well, thanks, Amatopia. Uh, I haven't done anything fancy, though. It's just like a simple, long structure right now. <laughs> kind of like, I made a point of steering away from doing any really big builds in the game. You know, once I realized that I, I was never going to get to keep my stuff anyway. I felt like I should just kind of make it more utilitarian. Uh, let's put this by the bed. Lo and behold, I don't have enough leather. Oh, there we go. Oh, I need the meat out of there, too. Feed me! I don't know what to do with the reed flowers. We'll stick them in here for now. I think that's something we could do with the herbalism bench, but... I do not have that. Uh, okay, let's get, uh... I'm gonna get two water bottles, or air bottles. That's a good start. Swap out my bow. Grab some sticks. We've got... Uh, how many bones have we got here? I can make some arrows. 19 of them? What's my limiting factor here? Leather. Of course it is. What's with the bears? Watching Raptor and found your stream. Interesting. Love your streams, too. Well, thanks. What do you mean, what's with the bears? I mean, they're all cheering for the bears to eat me alive, but... <laughs> I haven't seen any any bears yet tonight. I'm sure they're coming. They're waiting. They're biding their time, waiting for an opportunity to pounce. Rotten bears. I'm gonna whip up some ropes so that we can, when we make the textile bench, we can make the backpack. Which will be helpful for when we start mining. Which, of course, we'll have to go find a place to actually do the mining, but it's all right. I know I've been here on this map before. I think, uh, I don't know. Maybe I was just a little bit farther over on the lake over here, maybe. So there might actually be a mine right down here. Depending, if this narrows down into a small channel down here, or a small valley, the way I think it does, then there should be a, a, uh, a mine just down here. Cheer for the bears to eat you alive? Would we do that? Absolutely you would. <laughs> if you weren't actively trying to bribe them to do it, I'm sure you would cheer for it at the very least. Yeah, polar bears like to have fox snacks. It's great. <laughs> uh, can I make uh, storage boxes here? What do I need? Wooden fiber. I think I like two of these for now.
There we go. Start uh, storing some things up, I guess. Okay, weather's passing. Let's get out of here and get some get some more resources. Uh, what do I need? I guess leather is gonna be a priority for a little bit. Uh, oh, let's go, go. We'll go find some sulfur. Sulfur and oxide, so we can get get our consistent oxygen supply going. Use a bandage, bro. Uh, Alan, you must be a little delayed on the stream. I'm not bleeding right now. I don't need a bandage. <laughs> Super chats are hitting the bear stream. <laughs> Paint him off. Like, listen, here's five bucks. Do that fox guy in. Got a wolf. I got a wolf. Hey there, boo boo boy. What if the wolves will like go into my house when I'm not there and like start wrecking stuff? Come back, find out they've been throwing a wild party uninvited, crashing all my equipment. Rotten wolves. Don't you have a headlamp? I do not. I wish I did, but I don't. The suit doesn't come with it as a default. I don't know if it's like a suit that I can upgrade to that'll have it, or like uh, something I can make in the workshop that will give me access to a headlamp. But I don't have one yet. Alright, it's gonna go black for a quick moment. There we go. The wolves are savage pack hunters. Why aren't there any packs? They're too busy just sauntering around. This is the uh, the wolf vacation spot. They come to this planet to get away, and you know they don't. They're not really in intending for their pack to come with them. So you know they just hang out by themselves. The sign of the door says no foxes allowed. Yeah. Oh, pumpkins. Well, we got some metal tonight. I think I'm gonna make uh, gonna make the kitchen so we can try to get some decent food to take with us on our trip to the desert. Dang bots! Yeah, never fails. I, I meant to put a, a screen in. Uh, I meant to put a screen in YouTube to block those particular bots, and I forgot. Got busy doing other things. Hey, Brandy, how you doing? Watching on your lunch break. Well, I hope you're enjoying your lunch. Uh, it just stopped raining. Now we got rain again already. Um, okay, so I could put uh, oxide in here and some of this, some of that. Need some oxygen bottles out of here. That's good to go. And do I have enough for a torch? Nope, I need sticks. And them sticks. Yeah, all right, we get a standing torch. Put that right in the middle here. Actually, with Super Chat, to support your wildlife fund, go bears and, and wolves. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. I'm sure the bears and wolves appreciate the support. Uh, I don't really need to keep the oxide on me. I'm gonna leave that behind. Bottles ready. Oh, I have to grab my uh, my canteen out of here. Water bottle too. Uh, okay, where's that textile table? Fiber and stone, really. Well, all right. I'm gonna need more fiber. This will go out in the weather. Totally not rooting for the animals. No, totally not. <laughs> Carnage is entertainment, I guess. Oh, 
just gonna stock up on the fiber here. If I can get a whole bunch of it, then I won't have to do this for a bit. Alright, that's more than a thousand. Hopefully that'll hold for a little while. Hello, Fox from Ohio. Like your channel. Thanks, Joshua. Things are good for you in Ohio. Uh, Alright, fiber we've got covered. <laughs> I think we have more than enough fiber for now. Uh, what else do I need? Stone. My fancy axe is almost toast already. Too bad you can't make metal roofs to put on your own. Try to drag in some lightning. Must be a record. It's not a record. It's a record when I die really fast. What should be a record is like 30 minutes in and we've got like a fully fledged home already. First night hasn't even fallen and we already have a sleeping bag. That's unusual. <laughs> Yeah, that's right, it's Metamucil. <laughs> it's not the orange flavored kind, though. It's no good. Yeah, I haven't made any lightning rods in the game yet. It lasted at least that long in Farming Simulator 22. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I I succeed in not dying in the game where you can't die. It's great. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were mocking me. Yeah. Why don't you use your good pickaxe you got for the space station? Because it has 115% gather rate. So, I'm going to take it to a cave to mine for ore, and I want to use it to get the ore. Um, because the, the ore is a more limited resource than these rocks are. So, I figured I would, I would save it for that. We'll consume it to gather a bunch of ore, and then I'll be ready to make a, like a metal pickaxe to replace it. But if I, if I use it all up on the stones, then I won't have it for ore. Take the bullet, break this whole boulder. Good lord. I got the bonus points for wrecking it. I'm gonna wreck it. Yeah, some of it's in the ground. This isn't happening. Whatever. Alright, good chunk of stone anyway. We can throw that in here. Oh my god, I only got 195 for that. I seriously need a better pickaxe. <laughs> Alright, we're ready to make our textiles bench at least. I'll make the herbal bench while I'm at it too. And another one of these. Alright, textile bench acquired. Stick that at the end here, I guess. Okay, we got that. I'm gonna need uh, the rope over here on the textile bench. And I also need leather and fiber to make the backpack. Um. Let's take like half this. Leather I'll have to wait on because I don't think I have any more. Yeah. Get the hold on the leather. Use the last of it to make another one of these. Score! Just like that we can make it daytime. Truth is not mocking. Ah, uh, fair enough. I feel attacked then, because truth can be attacking. <laughs> Seven. Can I stick that right in the corner? Do you think it'll fit? Apparently not. All right. So much for that. Uh. Hmm. I don't want to put the fancy herbalism thing. So we'll put it over here by the fire, maybe. Uh, this is gonna have to be a bigger building by the time we start getting more benches. I'm thinking if if I get the stone building bench after we get some iron, then I might extend the I might take out this these two center sections and extend a room that goes out over the water more. But I'll need to convert to stone first, I think. Just to kind of hold everything up and make sure it's storm proof. I don't want to put all that effort in only to have it like get knocked down by a storm right away.
Okay, uh, the herbalism bench, we can make flatbread if we can get our hands on some flour. Uh, so I'm gonna need the mortar and pestle out of here, which means we'll need to get our hands on some silica. And while I'm thinking of it, I should also make a torch. Where's my torch thing? There we go. Uh, I need fiber for that too. I hope they at some point let you hold the torch in one hand and the tool in another, because the way it is right now, you can't do that, and it's kind of kind of lame. It's a little on the sucky side. There we go. Just remember, the drill will take your backpack slots. That's fine, I just want the backpack for when I'm mining resources. It gives you a bonus carrying capacity. And reduces the weight of the ores that you're carrying in it also. So you can carry a little bit more back with you. Feels like my shed could always use another bench. Yeah. Hey, I come. You come. I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but hello. Um. Uh, where am I here? Let's go for a little trip. I want to see if the cave I'm thinking of is where I think it is. Oh, look at this. We found, uh... Found a little bit of wheat. Make flatbread now. Most games work that way with the torch. It's so unrealistic. I guess. I guess you probably also wouldn't really be mining stone and ore single-handedly. You'd be normally be using two hands on the pick. Wheat. Will wheaten. Who'd wheat? I don't have any bones on me. All right. We gotta get started anyway. Oh yeah, I didn't realize I'd gone so far over. All right. Flat or regular bread? Just flat bread. I don't have the, uh... I don't have the fireplace thing going on, and I don't have, uh... I don't have a stove. But we're stuck with the regular variety of things. Uh, I'm just gonna put the wheat in here for now. <laughs> we, we only got a tiny little bit of wheat out of that patch, though, so... It's not gonna do... You know what? Actually, I think someone told me if you push Control, Shift, and, and click on it, it will move it all. Oh, that is handy. I approve. Craft one of these things up. Oh, I only these posts behind here somewhere too. I don't need to carry these around. All right, let's go see if we can find ourselves a cave we can mine. Regular bread, you think does experience? Yeah, the the regular bread is uh, is better. It has uh, it has a few buffs on it that are pretty good. But I don't have the, uh, I don't have the means to make it just yet. Hey, I found corn! I remember that's there. Make some of that creamed corn business. Ah, oh, he fell in the water. Ow! I hurt a little more than I thought I would. I got the wolf. Deal with this thing on the shore. Flatter doesn't rot, so you can shrink the pile that way. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I'm just crafting the mortar and pestle back there right now anyway, so... Oh, I broke my foot! What? Alright, I landed a lot harder than I thought I did. I got a sprain. Sprain an ankle for the fall. You'll move more slowly and lowers my weight capacity, but... Eh, it's alright, I guess. It's a little sprained ankle between friends. Wait a minute. Hmm. I don't know if this is the area I'm thinking of. You're super sick. Hashtag Bossman decided it'd be nice to share his cold. He's so insistent on snuggling and kissing me. It should be noted that Bossman is my grandson, which I watched. Oh, that is good to know, Cheryl. Thanks. At first, I thought you were talking about your boss. <laughs> 
I was like, does he know that's inappropriate at the office? Because, uh... Pretty sure that's frowned upon. Can't wait to, uh, till you find the danger tubes. Oh, you mean the, uh... The wolves in the caves? <laughs> we need to make some more, uh... Some more arrows. Bone arrows before we get dealing with too many of those. Yeah, this is definitely not the area I was thinking of. Um, come here. I'm trying to murder you. Hold still, get murdered. Finally. He's your boss. Yeah. Does he know that is your boss? It's inappropriate. <laughs> Kids are cute. Mostly when they're behaving. I don't have any stones! I don't have any stones on me at all. Oh no! Come on! Invisible wall! Gonna stop me from getting the one stone I need. That's just teasing. Kids are great when they're sleeping, yeah. <laughs> nice when they're behaving, you know. It's it's there's just something to be said about like seeing them learn new things. It's it's amazing. Until the thing that they learn is talking back. Then it's not nearly as amazing. Okay, yeah, this definitely is not the area I thought I was in. I need to figure where where I am. Because I, I don't know where to find uh, a convenient cave nearby. I have to do a little circuit around the lake and try to get a get a read on where we are. And we're gonna make more of these fancy arrow things. Yeah. Oops! Oh god, what I, I dropped something. <laughs> Just drop a knife again. Alright, let's switch over to bow and arrows, I guess. We got a lot of those now. Man, I'm in another area where the, the valley is not friendly from a sunshine perspective. Good, it's already almost 10 o'clock in the morning in the game. The sun's only just cresting up above the edge of the valley there. What's your position on boyfriends for my daughters? I don't have to have a position, they're not gonna have any. Until they're at least 40. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they have a differing opinion, but... <laughs> Kids are cute until they hit their teens and the heads start turning around and need both an old priest and a young priest. Yes. Yes. My oldest daughter's 13. I feel like she's already in that place. No, no, I really, I want my kids to be happy. Which is why I'm, I'm gonna be, um, enrolling them in a convent. I hear, I hear those people are very happy. <laughs> Butterflies, night blossom. I found it though, right away, I got it. <laughs> I didn't throw it this time though, I just dropped it, so. Boy, aren't you in for a big surprise. I have a I have a realistic perspective, but I like to joke that I don't because it makes me feel better. <laughs> the kid's sixteen, you know the feel. Oh yes, yeah. My oldest is thirteen, going on twenty. Great. Ooh, this nice little waterfall. This is where I should have built my base over here. It'd be farther from the rocket, but we could build it like on top of this waterfall thing and just like span it across. But then we'd have to listen to the waterfall the whole time. That'd be kind of annoying, I guess. The water's really loud in this game. Kids are great, slowly roasted on an open fire. Welcome, everyone. We have the uh, 
We have the witch from that uh, Hansel and Gretel story in our chat tonight. Welcome, Dos guys. Welcome. Oh, wait. Is there no, no cave back there. Or is that a cave? No, it's just like a, like a flat rock kind of thing. All right. Just tell her key she can and she won't. No, you don't understand how my daughter works. <laughs> if I tell her she can, she definitely will. If I tell her she can't, she will twice as fast. I'm going to keep that one piece of corn and see how long it lasts. I think if, uh, if I pick the corn right away, I'm fairly certain it'll start going bad right away. And since I don't have a kitchen yet, I don't want to pick it yet. My lord, where's the caves around here? Came by the corner of L2 and a huge one by K11. L2 and K11. L12, rather. Oh, I'm headed there right now. And K11 is, uh... Oh, around the corner. Okay. Alright, so we'll bump into the one at least. Once I find it, I'm gonna have to go drop off supplies because my inventory's getting a little bit on the heavy side. Plus, I think I have enough leather now to make... Well, actually, I made all those arrows. Uh, yeah, I might have enough. might have enough to make a backpack. We can help our carrying capacity for the, the stuff we're going to mine. If that's the case, why don't you tell her you're not sure? It isn't saying yes, not saying no. Oh, you have no idea. That doesn't work either. I've tried it all, man. I've tried it all. <laughs> They're very persistent in pushing for answers, let's just say. Oh, wait, there should be one just up here on the left, right? There it is. There it is. Found one. I'm gonna break into this one, too. Alright. Pretty thick opening on this one, too. There's an old standby, ask your mother. <laughs> That's what I should do. Should try that. No, that doesn't work either. My wife is familiar with the concept of payback. <laughs> yeah, my mom used to say, go ask your mom. Yeah, yeah. I could have sworn I heard a wolf behind me, but I guess not. Alright. Speaker, be sure to coordinate so she answers, ask your father. <laughs> We've already done that uh, accidentally. And then I get that, but she just told me to ask you! <laughs> I'm like, back off, get your own sandwich. Oh, jeez! Okay, I guess I moved in there a little quicker than usual. I don't normally have them show up behind me like that. I think I backed up. Yoo hoo, sneaky things. Is that it? One worm for this cave? All right. I can appreciate that. Okay, I have, uh, what have I got? Carry capacity. Not a whole lot of room for carrying stuff right now. Um, we can grab some of the iron that's at the entrance here, though. I'm gonna come back for the others. Grab that. Need my other, my magical pickaxe. It's not all that magical, but it does have a higher collection rate. Just occurred to me I haven't built a smelter yet. We're gonna need one of those too, I guess. Knife it in the face. <laughs> I mean, the arrows work pretty good, but I guess knife is also an option. 
wonder how well a grenade would do against those things. Probably fairly well. They take 300 damage to kill. I don't know how much damage a grenade does, but... I gotta imagine it's fairly effective. Except that it'd be that time delay between when you throw it and when it blows up. Versus just shooting it with an arrow, which is pretty instant. Yeah. Made an opening big enough for the wolves and bears, but they don't they won't wander in here, it's fine. This cave's not even that big, so it's not it shouldn't take us that long to to strip mine the whole thing. Alright. Here capacity's pretty full, so we should probably head back. Uh where are we going here? Oh god! <laughs> wolf. Oh, that honestly made me jump. <laughs> uh all right, grab a little bit of stone so we can get this wolf carcass. Oops! Oh, I was gonna carry it with me. Oh well. You've had bears attack in a cave? I've seen them wandering in and stuff, but like I said, it's only a small cave, so we're not even gonna be in there all that long. I mouse hit my computer tower. I couldn't keep panning to the right. <laughs> At least it's not a 6k bear. Yeah. Wait a minute. This looks familiar. I think we were here with Nate. Is this the place where I burned the similar map where I burned the forest down? I mean, where the lightning burned the forest down? <laughs> Freudian slip. Yeah, they went outside. Gonna come out eventually. Okay. What do I need now? Um. Ba -ba -ba. Make flint arrows. Don't want that. I need to make a stone furnace. Let's put this up here. We've got more, more wheat. More wheat. Gonna be cool with that away. Oh, I'm on a wooden here. Uh, that's problematic. At least I got my forge. Where can I put it? Probably somewhere where it won't break things would be good. I definitely need more room. Do not approve of this lack of space in here. Uh, maybe I better put it closer here so I get a little more room to work with. Make sure nothing's breaking. Like we're good. I think we're good. I wonder how bad the storm will be. Seems like the therapy's going well. You finally accepted the truth about the burning of the forest. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. <laughs> I still... I deny. Deny, deny, deny. That's what you're supposed to do, right? Just deny everything. Like wood. Or wood. Let's make some ore. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I'm going to make a backpack, too. Stand in there. We've got our backpack ready. Cook up some pumpkin, cook up some corn. Gonna take more wood. More wood. Really, really helped if I activated this thing. There we go. <laughs> uh, did you make a hammer yet in case you haven't fixed anything? I haven't yet, but I really probably should. Um, I need stone and stuff. I don't remember what I need exactly, so let's grab a variety of things. Oh, I'm going to need the building upgrade tool as well. Not just yet, so I can put that away, but we will need it. 
That is this one. But we do have the uh, the repair hammer ready. Everything else I think needs uh, needs iron that I would need to craft now at this point. I think the next thing we'll we'll, well, we'll focus first on getting the anvil bench maybe, and then maybe the masonry bench. Anvil bench. Not an anvil bench. It's an anvil. Whatever. You know what I mean. That thing. Charred corn. Ooh, that actually sounds good. Now we just need to make some salsa with it. Alright. Corn gives uh, 75 to max stamina. Minus 10% stamina consumed in actions. Oh, that's really handy, actually. It's better than this. 75 max stamina for the grilled pumpkin as well. 5% exposure. So these two things combined together are going to be good for mining because it will give it like a nice boost on our stamina. I approve. What about the textile bench? That's right here. I already have the textile bench. I haven't bothered making the leather armor yet. I don't, I'm not sure whether I will make the leather armor. Since we're going to be headed for the desert, I'm not sure if it's worth it. it has to be a little on the warm side. Oh, uh, I want to grind some flour. Give me, uh, give me all this stuff. Maximize our flour output. 84, that's it? I feel it should have been more. That was a lot of flour we grabbed. Or wheat, rather. Need more cool whip. At least make the leather mask. <laughs> Bit nothing, deny everything, and only talk through your lawyer. That seems like a good advice. How's the new update? I mean, I haven't seen anything significantly different in it yet. Uh, but, I mean, everything's going smoothly, so I'll say it's good? Questioningly? I've unloaded enough stuff. I guess we can go find that mine again. No. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna need rocks to repair things, though. Definitely, definitely not from Kmart. You can go back for the corn. Can you make, uh, can you make cornbread? I don't know. We don't have a recipe for it right now. I don't know if there's something we can do in the cooking station later, but, um... Recipes are relatively limited so far from what I've seen. So I think with the with the corn we can make cream corn. You combine it with animal fat and make cream corn. And you make the animal fat out of animal meat. Uh, but so far this is the only recipe I think I've seen with the corn. Yeah, I got my backpack. It's uh it's equipped right here. That'll, that'll let us carry a little bit more of the resource back. I don't know if there's even all that much left there. Watermelon. Watermelons are handy too. Combine those with berries and you can get that. Carrots are good. Got a whole veritable feast growing around here. Did I ever shoot? Oh, there it is. Weather income. Man, this planet is stormy. We got like the stormy season or something. I don't know. Not always this stormy, but we're getting them really consistently. Can't see. Can't see, clown will eat me. Can't see, clown will eat me. Somewhere here there's a oh, it's a, it's in the rock there. I don't think I can hit it. Nope. Can't get the last of it. That sucks. Uh, I'm going to put the torch over here. Don't roll down the hill. Thank you.
Did I ever get a better light? I have not yet, no. There is a lantern we can make that uses biofuel. Uh, I haven't unlocked it yet, nor have I made it. Obviously, since it's not unlocked. Um, I, I gather it, it casts quite a bit of light. I don't know uh, if it's a pain in the butt to keep it cooled or not, but... Okay, I, I gotta get this torch over here. Um... If I drop it there, I can see a little bit better. Yeah, it's a little better. Slightly better, anyway. Is that it? No. Hey, Derna, how you doing? Fox's stream is best viewed at 144p. <laughs> There's actually there's reporting in the YouTube dashboard that will show what resolution people actually watch the content at. There are some people that watch it with that low resolution. Probably on a phone, I would guess. It's on a computer monitor or a TV. That would be terrible. I think that's it aside from the gold, which I will grab, but I'm just double-checking because the iron is more important for me. I don't think there's anything I could even make with the gold right now, but it certainly doesn't hurt to mine it. Max Cheese, you can turn shadows off. I, uh, I know people have been doing that. A, a couple of people have left comments on the videos telling me that I should. But, I don't know. That really wrecks the whole atmosphere of it. Your Max Axe is getting a little low on the HP. Best to prioritize ores. Yeah, I, I mean, that's what I've been doing with it. I um, It's only it's about halfway down. That's why I made a, a stone pickaxe. Can you make brackets to mount a torch to the cave wall when mining so you can see? Well, you could... Nah, not exactly. There are wall torches you can make. So you could put a wall down and then attach a wall torch to it. But the thing with those types of torches, the same as the stand torch, is that you, you have to uh, you have to then open it like an inventory and then add fuel into it. And when you want to move it, you got to pick it up and then move it somewhere else. And uh, from what I've, I've found, the... It's more hassle than it's worth to do that. I find it easier just to, to carry torches and drop them. Now, I could probably carry multiple torches and drop them, and it would improve the visibility because they'd cast more light. But from what I've seen, it's just not worth the hassle of trying to deal with the uh, the standing torches in a cave when you're mining. It, it really, really didn't show like make much of an improvement in terms of lighting, if any. Each node you mine is so quick, so... You knock it out, and then you gotta spend your time picking up the stand torch to move it somewhere else. Is that a bear over there, or is that a rock? It's a rock. Do a rock at him. Do the big rock. Alright, more ore. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to the coal for now. Gold, too, I guess. stuff out of here. I love that the carrots don't spoil. I mean, too many too many different materials here though. I need to I wish I wish I had some snow we could make an ice box. Okay. Uh let's grab this out of here. Using that we can craft anvil. Just join the stream, so forgive me if you're already doing this, but when hunting iron, it's best to take a stone furnace with you. Iron ingots weigh just one-third of the weight of uh, iron ore. You know, I haven't been doing that, and that is probably a very good idea. Yeah, no, I've always just been bringing it back. Um, but that, uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense. Alright. I need uh, leather and wood. There's our wood. There's a bit of leather. Not a lot of leather, though. My word! 
It's enough, though. Metal pickaxe. Plus, plus 60 mining radius, plus 125% yield for mining. So it's actually better than this one. 55% mining radius, plus 115. So I don't need my, uh... I don't need my MXC pickaxe anymore. Uh... Let's make some nails. Craft a better knife. We need more leather before we can make another... Another metal tool. Just have many standing torches that provide decent lighting if decently separated in a cave. Yeah, I mean, then we just have to like keep like dropping fuel in all of them, I guess. I, I could. I don't know. Feels a little wasteful. I'll tell you what, we'll make some. Um, where's my crafting? Need more fiber. So I'll make like, uh, I don't know what, five of these things, I guess? Yeah, six, whatever. I'll make six of them. Stick those down here. Now the trouble is I'm going to have to bring fuel for them, also. Uh, sticks will work fine, so we'll bring a hundred sticks with me. Okay, I can't make another smelter because I need uh, I need more leather. So we gotta go kill something. Actually, that cave we just finished is already clean. I can't even go back to that one. I gotta go find another one first, I guess. Someone said uh, around L was it L11 or K11? There was a big one. I think they said. I don't remember. We'll go wandering around. Let's see if we can track one down. For a large cave, we'll be back to. Yeah, that would definitely maybe be worth it there. Uh, let's go ahead and put our pickaxe away. So I don't need that. J12, go to J12. <laughs> Rabbit. Boom, boom. What buff do I get for the watermelon again? I forget. It's 50 stamina. So, yeah, I got a good, good chunk of stamina boost right now. Was K11? That's back here. That's K11. Well, unless it's. Oh, it could be right in the very corner there at K11, maybe. Was that the, that's not the one I was in, was it? Alright, we'll find out. You sank my battleship! Be like in the corner of the mountain over here. But what do we need to make a crafting bench? Stone wood fiber and leather. Uh, leather. What's with the leather? Ooh, laggy. Wow. That was no bueno. Given how far away this is, it might actually be worth it to, uh... Oh, there it is. Uh, it might be worth it to build a crafting bench out here so I don't have to, like, run back to get what I need. I'm just gonna have to find some stuff that I can kill, though. I'm gonna need leather. Hey, Laird. Hey, not a bad day. Hey, it was Wednesday, you know, nothing exciting.
Two down. Where'd the arrows go for the other one? Hello? This is a tall cave. Space worms? Hello? There's a lot of copper in here. Oh, this one goes down deep. Oh, of course you'd come up there, wouldn't you? Right in the water. Where's my arrow, man? Get that back. Those are my good arrows. Why is there a howling in here? Oh my god, this one's got... I can't even... I've never been in this cave. I don't know which directions these go in. This is cool. Hopefully it's just a big loop. How does that look so deep? dark in here. Hit me. It is really dark in here. <laughs> I can't... The torchlight's not even going that far. It's hard to tell what's over there. Uh. Trying to hit me. I didn't even know that was a thing. I've never gotten close enough to one. Lots of gold in here. Oh, that's right. I think they uh they, I think they said in the patch that they added more gold. More gold spawns to the game. Uh or that, that's gonna be up high where I can't get to it. Oh underwater. Okay. It's definitely worm free for now. Lots of copper in here, too. Alright, let's get our hands on some innocent little creatures. See if we can get a wolf to show up. They'll have a little more leather than the bunny will. And that's a good tape for standing torches. Yeah, there's a lot of them in, uh, a lot of nodes in there. It's also a fair amount of water, so like having the uh, the standing torch around the water edge will be handy. When you get tier four, uh, you need even more copper than gold. I believe it. I think they would have wiring and stuff in it, right? Okay. Such a cute little bunny rabbit. They're so much cuter when they have an arrow in them. Any other works. Oops. Deep cave means better stuff, correct? Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily better stuff, but it has like more nodes, I suppose, would be a good way to put it. Uh, Alright, I have enough leather. I need stone, wood, and fiber now. Um, all of which is easy enough to get. That gives me enough of that. Uh, chop down a tree for some wood.
Circus take three copper and one gold. You need a lot of them. Oh, yeah. That would do it. Uh, that's silica. Or silica. Alright, I can make a bench. Oh, wait, I'm gonna need more leather for the. How much leather I got left? Nothing. Shoot, I'm gonna need more leather, because I'm gonna make a forge here. So we can smelt down the, uh. I don't want to smelt all the ore because I'm gonna need uh, I'm gonna need some of the some of the iron ore to make steel bloom, but we are gonna need a bunch of ore still. It's dark in here? I don't like it. I need a flat spot here. Maybe up near the entrance would be better. There we go. Alright, then we can put a standing torch here, too. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> there we go. So, a little better anyway. Okay. This needs 12 leather in total. I'm gonna need more stone as well. And it's already getting dark outside. I'm just kinda gonna rule out hunting a little bit, I guess. Um, I suppose in the meantime... Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I can't even see it, but I killed it. You make steel bloom with the ingots too, can you? I thought it was all right. That's good. I thought it was just the, uh, the raw ore. I think it was with the ingots. Does it have a lower recipe cost because the uh, the ingots consume like two ore for each one, right? Oh, that got me thirty-two leather. I got plenty of leather now. Uh, I just need. What do I need? Oh my God, I can't even find the cave. It's so dark out here. A stone now. And when that sun goes down, it gets really dark out here. I think that might be enough. 65? Was it? Oh, wait, it might have been 80, actually, I think. There we go. That's a wolf. Come at me, bro! You know what's funny is with the torch burning inside the cave, it doesn't cast any light out of the mouth of the cave. Sort of rules out seeing. Uh oh. I wasn't paying attention to my oxygen. <laughs> I may not have all that much time here anyway. It gets dark when the sun goes down. Oh my god, wow. Yeah, but it's like pitch black, of course, because there's no light pollution. Right in the middle of nowhere. It's it's not just it's not just dark, it's like oppressive. Okay. I can go in there, let's start mining. Give to me the magic of the ingots. For steel, you have two recipes. Six iron ore, one coal. Or three iron ingots and one coal. Oh, okay, that works good. Perfect. No concerns. I've only ever been making it with the, uh, uh, with the ore. Bloop, 
Bloop, bloop. Requires shelter. What? It's in? Oh, come on. It says it's in shelter. It says it's sheltered, but it's not working. That's not cool. Guess we'll move it into the cave and see what happens. And I got pneumonia, just like that. Good old pneumonias. Now it works. This was just a tiny bit too close to the entrance. Tiny bubbles. Oh wait, I need that for fuel. Uh, I'm gonna need staminas. I guess I better eat the stamina stuff. Look <laughs> how tiny my stamina bar is because I'm sick. That's great. Uh, the iron ingot steel costs twice as much as coal, but it's just, uh, less of a headache to move the ingot. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's fine. As long as I can find a good source of coal. There was a little bit in this cave, but I don't know how much. There's a little spot right here somewhere that I can't- Oh, I did get it. Nice. Man, it's been so long. I miss watching your streams on a regular basis. Hey, Brian, how's it going? Welcome. We are still here. YouTube hasn't kicked me off yet. Stack. Our twin powers activate. Little light's better than darkest pitch, yeah. It is a little better. I mean, as I clear out the nodes that I want to mine, I'm, I don't even know how much I'm going to bother with copper. I might get a little bit of it. But I don't really have anything to make with it yet. I mean, I guess it's still, it's worth XP to mine it, but... I don't have tier 4 just yet, so I can't make any, uh... I'm not worried about computer chips and things. Or circuit boards or whatever it is you make with it. You won't run a cold, there's always a couple nodes in each cave. Plenty for all the steel production you might need, yeah. I feel like the, uh, the pneumonia is renewing already. No more. Can't mind that. What's we got up here? Oh wait, I need this coal. Speaking of coal. That bench is not in shelter? It is in shelter. I was able to make things in there. The, uh, the forge wasn't in shelter, but the bench was. Oops. Did not mean to fall down there. Oh, God!
Man, it used to be the uh, the pneumonia buff or debuff or whatever would wear down. And then as long as you got out of the cave before it hit zero, it would go away. Now I feel like it just keeps renewing itself. Careful, snakes have respawned. It shouldn't be this quick, though. Not from what I've seen, anyway. Unless, it, unless they've upped it, or if it gets uh, like a faster respawn rate on more difficult missions. Which I suppose is certainly also possible. Brought back some actual coal from England. Cannot get coal here in Texas. <laughs> oh, really? Wish you had your old life back of being at home all the time on the computer. Yeah, you've been busy working? Because that will uh, that'll certainly get in the way of entertainment. Rotten work. Oh my god, it's dark over here. See, the, like, the light just does not carry very far. I feel like the uh, the light is is like, really oppressed in this game. It only lasts like 500 to 600 seconds ago. No, it doesn't. It's re it's refreshing itself. Look, it's back up at 570 something. It had gotten down to 530. It's, it keeps refreshing. I wonder if it's when I exhaust myself it refreshes it. No, it's not that. But it definitely did refresh because it got down to like 530 or something. And it came went back right back up again. There's more coal there. Get out of here. Oop, there's some there too. More coal! Most of the day's patch, the cave debuffs have changed slightly. Uh, if you get cave lung and standing cold cave water, your stamina can go to zero, meaning you can't even swing your pickaxe. Oh, really? That could be problematic. Just pray you're not in water that's too deep to actually, like, climb out of without, without jumping. <laughs> Find yourself stuck there forever. Forever. Yeah, my inventory is almost full here. And with that, it is full. Alright. Let's go back to my little, uh... Melting operation. Just purchased Icarus. Now I have an excuse to upgrade uh, your GTX 1080 Ti. <laughs> You're probably going to need to, Sitting Duck. It's pretty system intensive. Of course, the hard part is getting the cards to do the upgrade. Supply being what it is right now. This is smelting really slowly, it seems. Huh. That's not epic. What time of day is it? 2.25. I can't it's not, I was going to go outside, but... I'm trying to get this stamina debuff to go away. Let's let that stuff smelt while I hang out here for a minute. Hard to get the card. Yes, $3,000. Yeah, that's pricey. I ended up, uh, I bought mine in a pre-built PC, which seemed to be slightly cheaper than buying the card separately, given that I needed to upgrade anyway. Only because of the whole secondary market garbage, but... During the beta, you tend to use two forges side by side. You're right, it did tend to. Um, but I'm out here in the field right now, and I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of materials to make more of them. Fair to hurry to build a second forge, it's just stone, and there's plenty of that. Uh, it's not just stone, though, it's, uh, it's also leather. Blah, blah, blah. It requires. Uh, oh, I have enough leather. I just need stone and wood. We we'll get some more. Uh, get some more wood. A word. Dark out here. I don't want to drop my torch though, because I'll start a fire. Not that I know what that looks like. Oh, wrong one. Ah, 
weather. This mission is super stormy. Okay. RTX 3060 Ti is 3K. Yikes. 80 stone I need. 80 stone. That's a lot of stone, man. It's a lot of stone. Oh. Look at that. Storm weather's coming and it's getting brighter out. Oh, that's a wolf. Not enough leather? Well, clearly you're not killing enough wildlife. <laughs> well, I was in a cave for a bit. I actually do have enough leather, but... We slaughtered a lot of animals near home, but... Uh... A little farther afield at the moment. Pickaxe is already wearing down too. <laughs> light up. I wish you could light stuff on fire to generate light, but it doesn't. I found that out when a lightning uh, lightning strike started this major forest fire on a previous stream. It cast like almost no light. I was surprised. Alright, let's get out of the rain. We got our stone. Still got my debuff, though, too. I want my pneumonia to go away, man. Yeah, yeah, excuses. <laughs> Do I have any oxide? Uh, you know what? I don't, and I'm out of oxygen. We're gonna have to leave soon. Oh, just a tiny bit here. Just a wee little bit. I don't have any water either. My canteen's not filled. Actually, it's storming right now, but if we can skirt the edge here a little bit, just to quickly find some oxide, that would be handy. Should have brought an extra oxygen bottle with me, but I wasn't thinking about it. Get the antibiotic tonic. If I have the herbalism bench unlocked, I guess we could unlock that too. Not terribly far away from home. Well, my home is... I'm up here. My home's down here. It's a bit of a run. I'd prefer not to have to go back down there if I can avoid it, but... There we go. That'll do fine. There's water in the cave we can drink, so it's not really, like, a big deal. The trusted seller. Oh, you're talking about the, the video card? Sometimes when it's too good to be true, it might not be true. Yeah, there is that. There's, uh, it's, it's amazing how much garbage goes on and wrong around video cards. Okay, uh. Oh, it's already crafting one. Okay, there we go. How's this doing? Getting there. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to haul this all back. I'm gonna have to take multiple trips anyway. Okay, yeah, here, you can start the stream now. Hey, Nate, how's it going? Welcome to my cave manufacturing paradise. I guess I should get some water. Oh, I should get out of here so my buff will reset, too. Down to 88 now. Is this better than Seven Days to Die? Um, no, I wouldn't say so. I mean, the graphics are nicer. Seven Days to Die is just—it's a different style of gameplay, though. I mean, you're 
spending a lot of time like scavenging and fighting zombies and that kind of stuff. This is a different kind of survival game. Has the you know the normal tropes of like food and water and stuff, but a bit more. Well, I mean, they both have a bit of a repetitive game loop, but um, there's a lot more combat involved in that one. Forty-seven seconds, and I can finally be without my pneumonias. It's like an old friend at this point. <laughs> Cave water full of guacamole dip. <laughs> I haven't seen any bats, but there are those uh, evil cave worms, and they've got to be leaving something behind. Dip, dip. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the old guano. Does that make a guanamole dip? I don't know. Nine seconds. Don't think the phone service is crafting. The timer wasn't moving. Really? I'll go. Ch I'll go check. I'm just waiting for my pneumonia to run out. There we go. I can breathe. Hooray! You're right. It's not moving. What? Ah. I wonder if it's because I ran out of the cave? It went from 19 seconds to 11 seconds and then stopped. It must have been because I left the cave, I guess. That was weird. I haven't seen that happen before. Alright. Second smelterer. You smeltered it, you deltered it. That's right, I'm just that mature. Throw that in there. Oops. Throw that in there. I'm gonna need uh, some ore of here, I guess. And iron. Okay, let's go find some more iron. <laughs> you misspelled guanamole. <laughs> Now, there's coal here, which I definitely am going to need, but I don't know how much I have back there. Well, let's, let's grab it anyway. It's getting dark over here, man. <laughs> Some crazy tape rooms you picked up in that cave, right? <laughs> I don't know what I was eating in here, but... Oh, the coal actually blended with another, with a platinum ore. That's weird. All right. Oh god, no fall. There we go, I can see. Finally got a live stream, welcome Nevermore. Any minute now we're gonna get pneumonia again. Okay, uh, I probably should grab the gold, but I don't really need it, so I think I'm going to leave it. Let's grab this out of here. Go down and focus on the iron instead. All the higher ore nodes, aluminum, platinum, gold, titanium, so you can come back with platinum pickaxe to get much of them. Yeah. Well, there's also a question of like whether I even need it. I'm uh, what level am I right now? I'm level 28. I can't even craft anything with gold or platinum or anything yet. I haven't unlocked any platinum stuff. 
And I can't get... I'm stuck. There we go. <laughs> So the gold that I grabbed was purely just like, eh, I'll grab this, we'll get some XP off it. My carry away now, alright. Got, got room for a little more, I guess. Ah, I'm stuck. You know, we can play this on mobile? No, definitely not. This is uh, definitely PC only. I don't know if they have any plans to, to go to console even with the game. Uh, I haven't really heard anything. Right now, I would say, though, it's probably not optimized well enough to run on a, on a console anyway. Seems to be pretty system intensive. Grab, uh, like, whoops, I'll grab the contents out of here again. Build a storage box and put, uh, put it by the front for, well, I don't actually need to. I've got, um, I've got a crafting bench up there and the crafting bench stores material. So I can actually just, uh, I can just put stuff in the crafting bench for storage. Oh, I'm overweight. Tiny bit over. Drop. There we go. Oh god, water. <laughs> okay. Get that in there. This one's got room for a bunch more. Wow, I'm, I've got way more than I can carry now, so I'm pretty sure we can pretty much get out of it. Wow, even just carrying the coal is going to overload me. Are you joking? Oh, that's not good. All right, I guess we're leaving some coal behind. Um, I can consume that. Freeze up a little room. I've got to have, like, almost no carrying capacity for ore. We have to come back. No, oh, actually, the ore is way way lighter, or the uh, ingots are way lighter. Holy! All right, good deal. Depends on mission. If you're going to the Arctic at any point, you might want to grind towards tier four hunting rifle. Yeah, the hunting rifle is pretty great. I went to the the Arctic for that one mission just with the uh, the bolt action rifle. And if you can get, like, the, the sneak attack shot to the head as your first shot, and then get a second head shot, it's okay. <laughs> but if you don't, the polar bears are a little messy. They, uh, they get a little ornery when you shoot them for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Overly sensitive, probably. Alright, I'm gonna leave this stuff here. I don't need to bring it with me. Take a little mule run back. What do I normally do a live stream? Normally I'm live around 9 p.m. Eastern time most nights. Uh, I don't stream every night because sometimes stuff just comes up. This Friday night, by the way, there won't be a stream. I don't think. Uh, we're going to a hockey game with the kids. And I'm fairly certain we won't be back in time for a live stream. So... As of the moment, no uh, no stream on Friday. But normally, uh, normally I stream around 9 p.m. Eastern Time. No, oh, that's a cliff there. Probably won't. Probably won't want to jump off of that. If I had to guess. How <laughs> very Canadian of you. <laughs> I guess so. Nice that your torch doesn't go out once submerged in water. It does actually. It goes out while you're underwater. But as soon as you get above water, you can just relight it. You just right click and the torch lights are on lights, so like, on, off, on, off, on, off. <laughs> so the water puts it out, but you just turn it back on again when you come out. 
Couldn't help but notice you're using a bow and arrow. Hmm? Uh, yes, that's what I have. I'm using a bow and arrow. nice hearing people start to do normal things with their families again. Yeah, well, it's not it's going to be short-lived apparently with all the uh, Omicron stuff in Ontario. They're starting to impose the restrictions again starting on Saturday night. So <laughs> Friday night we're going to a hockey game and then Saturday night that same hockey game probably wouldn't be allowed. <laughs> so it's not really not really back to normal exactly yet, but it is nice that we can get out and do some stuff at least. Yeah, it should be good. The kids, the, you know what the funny thing is, the kids aren't really into hockey, but they like going to the hockey games. I think it's just the excitement of being there. Is a, like they won't watch it on TV. <laughs> I won't watch it on TV for that matter. I actually don't really. I won't sit and watch hockey. Uh, all right, so we've got a little bit of iron available to us. Uh, I'm gonna go back and make another run. We'll actually, you know what? I'm not gonna rush to get it. We'll get it later. I don't need it right now. Okay, uh, I want to make, I want to make some iron things here anyway. Uh, stack in there, we'll make ourselves an axe. So I can swap that out for this fancy 3D printed one I've got. Uh, I'm gonna need more nails probably. Yeah, actually, I'll wait, to, I'll wait to make those until I actually need them. Oh, and I should probably get my oxygen sorted. Before I forget. Ta-da! Okay. Make a cooking station. Uh, actually, what I really want to make is the stone bench. So the masonry bench, I need, uh, I'm gonna need rope. So let's make some of that. I think it was 12 rope, right? Yeah, 12 rope. Uh, 120 nails, and we're gonna need 80 wood. A word? Those going. Chop some trees down. It's the excitement of the event that makes it fun. I guess so. My <laughs> my daughter was uh, my oldest daughter was excited to go to the game, and the first thing she talked about was the popcorn. I was like, really? <laughs> We're going to a hockey game, and you're excited for the popcorn? All right. So I should unload a little bit. <laughs> I'm overburdened. How do you live in Georgia? Everyone is just now getting to the point where we don't have to wear a mask. Oh, nice. Yeah, we're, the, we're sort of that way for the moment, but it's not going to last, I guess. Um, actually, this coal can go into the mortar and pestle. And then this wood can go in here. Let's make... Uh, where's my masonry bench? Oh, i got to get the nails still. Bum -bum. Masonry bench. Craft. Okay. I'm going to need a lot of nails and stuff, but... Oh, I have no room to... <laughs> well, how about that? Um, get the fur and the leather out of here, I guess. Craft. So they can go in here. Masonry bench acquired. Oops. Ploy. Nope, that didn't work. Okay, a little bit, a little bit, yeah, perfect. Okay, I'm gonna have to move this around later, but um, that will give me a basis that I can use to start to make some stone pieces. Oh, I forgot I need leather for that. Oh man, I'm gonna have to go murder a whole bunch of stuff. Shoot. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm gonna need more ingots. I 
kind of overdid it anyway. I only wanted to do 20. Good thing I didn't have enough in there. I would have made just an insane number of nails. <laughs> uh, oh, I gotta fix my pickaxe too. Consider it repaired. What allows you to pick up the wood automatically? Under the talent tree, in the resources section, there's a skill here called Seasoned Logsman. Chopped wood is automatically added to your inventory. So you gotta build up to it. But that's the one I used. Actually, I actually have talent points I haven't used yet. Uh, I was working towards getting the polar bear armor, so I'm gonna go for that. Let's do uh, the sound, and then unlock the ghillie armor, and the next one will be the polar bear armor. Not that we need it for this mission, obviously, because we're going to the desert, but... Soon. Soon. When have I ever been opposed to murdering Bambi? Pretty much never. It's like I plan that stuff, right? It is like I plan it. I don't, but it's like I do. <laughs> Forever mission, building everything right from the start is exhausting. It is a little bit repetitive, right? Um, it goes faster each time. Just because you uh, you have skills unlocked already, there's more things you can craft. You can get the tools and materials and things that will help it speed up a bit. But yeah, you, you're, you're, it's definitely a lot of uh, a lot of repetition to rebuild all the time. I think the thing that tends to slow you down, well, slow me down anyway, is when you get to the point where you start to need iron. You can kind of race through the first part, and then you need the iron, which means you gotta go find a cave to go mine it, to go smelt it, to go make the benches and stuff. It's a lot of work. Three streams ago, you ribbed Nate for killing a baby deer. Was it only three ago? I mean, I feel like I do that every time, but... Damn, he on a stick. Anybody want some spit-roasted Bambi? Uh, we've got Thumper for dessert. Oh, Bambi. You saw a polar bear in the desert, I'd leave it alone if I were an elephant. <laughs> yeah. That's one tough polar bear if I can hang out in the desert. That is not the one you want to mess with. Won't polar bear make armor make you hot if you're going to the desert? It would, but I'm not, uh, I didn't get it for that purpose. There are other missions we're going to have where we have to go where it's cold. And I want to be able to make polar bear armor to go there. I wonder if the ghillie suit has any heat benefit. I'm sure it just increases your stealth or whatever, but I should see if I should check out the stats on it, maybe. I smoked this whole boulder, but there's like somewhere here there's a tiny little bit that's missing that I haven't gotten. I didn't hear it do like the cracky thing when it when it says you've got it all. Eh, well, whatever. Stone, glorious stone. Get our nails out of here. All right, we're just to the point where we need leather, I guess. So it's hunting time. Should probably just do what I did before and like kill something and leave it laying by my house. That brought a lot of wolves down. I wonder if the same thing will work if you kill a fish and leave it out. I'm guessing not, because it doesn't have the whole blood smell, but... Oh my god. Okay, rabbit. I've, I've wasted enough arrows on you. Come here. Come back here! Got him. Oh, I've got my backpack on it! Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> Alright. Any advice on getting more subs on my YouTube channel? Keep making content. I'm not, I don't know. It's um, 
you know, there's a lot of basic things you can do, like consistently putting out content. But a lot of it boils down to like just you know how what kind of content you're making. So are you playing? If you're doing a gaming channel, for example, are you playing games that people are actually looking for? Because sometimes people will make a gaming channel and they'll be like. I'm playing Super Mario 3 on the original Nintendo, and I can't understand why I don't have thousands of people watching. Well, there's just not that many people looking for that. There definitely is people, because there's a niche for everything. But it sort of depends on what niche you're chasing. Whether it's one that has traffic or not. Put out content consistently. Work on thumbnails and titles and stuff. Those are important. I don't know, this is not a fast thing. Like, sometimes people will get lucky and, or they'll, they, they hit on something that's of particular interest to people and they'll just explode quickly, but it took me seven years. Seven years to get to the size my channel's at now. That's not, uh, that's not a fast process. Notification sucks, I'm playing Icarus as well. Hey, Trip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's leather in here. Sweet. All right. How much leather does it take for each piece? Oh, there's only one for this. Okay, so uh, I had what, 15 or so posts. We're gonna want to replace those. I'm gonna make a few more once I get those replaced. Did I hear say Ontario? I'm near Barry. What are the odds? I uh, I love your channel. Didn't even know we're neighbors. Love the channel, man. I am in Ontario. Yeah, I'm a little ways away from Barry. I'm closer to Toronto, but hello, hello. Find something you love that nobody else is doing exactly the same way. It you know it really, 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 really depends on what you're trying to do. If you're trying to do gaming, there's only so many ways to do it. Um. Some of the most successful channels I've seen, they don't necessarily play the game. The game just becomes a foil for, for um, like, humor or, you know, however they want to, like, present their stuff. And so the, it becomes much less about the game and much more about, you know, just going to see something funny or whatever that the person's doing all the time. If you're doing live streams, then, you know, it's got to be a combination of stuff that you want to play, but then also stuff that people are looking for. It's kind of a, a lot involved in YouTube. Well, but I'm only able to uh, do games on mobile phone because I'm broke, so that's not really a, that's not a problem. There's actually a huge market for mobile games on YouTube. It's uh, some of the most watched gaming content is mobile gaming. Garena Free Fire, for example, is like the most. A lot of people haven't heard of it, but Garena Free Fire is like one of the one of the biggest viewed things on YouTube, and it's a mobile game. Mostly because of like uh, India and Asia, I think. But uh, what am I doing? Oh yeah, posts. It posts. Oh, can't swap these out directly. I got to pull them out and replace, which sucks. I wish you could just upgrade these. I don't understand why it doesn't let you. I'm gonna need you. No. All right. Well, whatever. Take the porch off here for a moment. It'd be easier to get to these posts if I do. Okay, now, oh, crap. <laughs> I need to do uh, support pull pillars in the middle here. Well, actually, I might not actually have to, I guess. Since I'll be working with stone, it may not need as quite as much support, so I might not need those middle ones. Let's um, make some, let's make some floors. Uh, start with 12 if I have enough. I do not. Then it is. Put these floors away. 
Need more leather. Oh, weather incoming, of course. Did a couple of videos on COD Mobile, I think about doing Minecraft. Yeah, early on, the, the the big thing is, like, if your channel's small and you're trying to initially grow it, consistency is really big. Like, people need to come to expect to find something there when they go to look. So that will certainly help. Uh, Alright, upgrades. Ta-da! Needs more leather. More leather, e more leather equals more murder. I think the same thing when I was upgrading my walls as well and playing in sandbox. Oh yeah. Uh, huh. Helps the big, big YouTubers like Fox to shut up, to get first shut up to get started. That actually doesn't really help as much as you might think that it does. Because if people, if people go over to your channel and they don't like your content, they're not gonna follow you or watch your stuff anyway. So the shout out largely becomes inconsequential. So like Jacksepticeye, for example, he got that shout out from PewDiePie. But if his content hadn't been entertaining and well-made anyway, it wouldn't have mattered. It might have helped get the initial eyes on it, but then they, they wouldn't have stayed, right? Have I ever done a shout-out? No, not really. I mean, I, I call out Nate's channel all the time, because he's my buddy of mine, and we play the games together, but... Otherwise, no, I don't, I don't do shout-outs. I also don't have all that much influence, so... Shout-outs for me don't really help all that much. <laughs> What would you consider consistent? Well, it really depends on, on what you can produce. Consistency early on is more about um, the frequency you maintain. So every other day, two times a week, three times a week, every day if you can, whatever. It's just having a consistent pattern so people know when to go back and look for it. Think about it. If you know that you, there's a particular show you like watching and you know what comes on every Friday at 7 p.m., then you know to go look for it at 7 p.m. Uh, Seven on a Friday. The same kind of helps with YouTube. Once a decade, yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you're gonna do once a decade uploads, you better have some really stellar content. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, it's not a must. You don't have to have a schedule. People have been successful doing all kinds of different things on YouTube. It just, like, it just helps simplify it for your viewers is all. Except there's more shouting out loud when a bear is clawing his face open. Facts. <laughs> All right, bunny. Fine. Get that thing back to the bench. I guess I better get out of the storm. Oh, God. Oh, God. All right, this, this is a bit of a bigger storm than we've had. Which means my, my base is going to get damaged. i got to get back there and repair it. Yeah, the trees are falling behind me. <laughs> Keep coming back for the mediocre. See, everyone's gonna have their niche. <laughs> Being a streamer or anything is like grinding in the super hard grinding games. You just gotta get out there and stream and stream and stream. Yeah, streaming, to be honest with you, streaming is not the best way to grow your channel. Edited video content is uh, the way to go. For a variety of reasons. No, actually, it doesn't look like my, my building didn't get damaged. That's all right. Uh, I didn't get any leather. That's great. Uh, I didn't get a bunny, though. Should give me... I got some leather. <laughs> Literally, I, I got no leather. That's that's awesome. <laughs> I 
my floor pieces in here. Quit your day job? Uh, I mean, I'm still on my day job, but never quit your day job. I mean, yeah, I, I, I would not say never quit your day job, but I would say don't quit your day job until you're at a point where you're financially independently secure and you're at a place where you're literally losing money by going to work because you could make more money by putting the time into what you're already earning on YouTube. Which, uh, since I have a day job, obviously I'm not at that spot. <laughs> but it is not in any way secure, so like, don't uh, don't count on it being. You're always at risk. Why is this thing still going? All right, storm's tapering down. Let's go find some more stuff to shoot. I get more leather. Unfortunately, there have been people that have quit their job too soon. They get, a, they have a month or two of success on YouTube. And they're like, "Oh my God, I'm, this is gonna be great. I'm gonna put everything into this." And then, you know, they maybe the next month the ad rates don't pay as well. The views aren't there. Or whatever. Just uh, you know, exercise caution. That's all. It's not that it's never a good idea. It's just you gotta make sure you do it in a way that doesn't put yourself at risk. Is all. Plus, like, what if YouTube just decides they don't like your channel anymore and they want to shut down? That would suck. YouTube sets you up and drops you. I mean, it's, it's certainly possible. It's happened to people. I mean, YouTube creates a, a, an opportunity that just simply didn't exist previously. And in that way, it's amazing. But as with any opportunity, there's always risks. Um, Alright, so I made... What do I need? I need, uh, one, two, three. I'm going to need nine posts in total, so I'm going to need seven more. <laughs> Don't have enough nails. Or I don't know, a new algorithm. The algorithm is not as important as sometimes people will complain about. People spend too much time focusing on what the robot's doing and not enough on what people are doing. The algorithm is designed to serve up the things that people find interesting. And if you have trouble fitting into that niche, you're going to have a hard time getting an audience. It's not about how you programmatically did your stuff so much as it is whether you're interesting in a way that people want to see what you have. So, like, what are they... Like, if you're developing content that nobody's looking for, it doesn't matter what the algorithm does. <laughs> you know, like, it's it's a lot more, a lot more about... Optimizing for people than optimizing for robots. People spend too much time focusing on optimizing for robots. Uh, alright. Nine. No, not nine. I want zero. I'm trying to do these posts first, I guess. The one thing that people do run afoul of, though, isn't so much optimization, is it is uh, content that YouTube doesn't want to monetize and that gets suppressed. That's something you gotta be careful of. Okay, so, um, I'm gonna extend out this way, so we'll have like a, you know, like a double, double shaped room kind of thing here, I guess, I don't know, whatever. I'm gonna take these walls out, we'll extend back this way, um, so I'm gonna need walls for all this, which means I'm gonna need a lot more leather. Gerd. So much leather. Ah, I got it, but not a headshot. That's a tree. Got him that time. If you can blow up stuff with slow mo camera, you're a millionaire. <laughs> Until people decide that that's not what they're interested in looking at anymore. Because that happens too. Sometimes you hit on a niche and it goes away. People like Mr. Beast are just really good at following the trends, for example, and then making stuff that's like crazy interesting that people want to watch. And, like, Mr. Beast isn't huge because of the algorithm. 
Um, <laughs> where'd that thing go? It was by a rock, I thought, wasn't it? There it is. And it's too big for me to pick up. That's great. Like how YouTube swaps me over to your live streams. <laughs> Try for an Alcade's sponsorship or Al uh, an Alkaida sponsorship. Yeah, let's not do that. Wait, are you refer you're not referring to Raid Shadow Legends, are you? <laughs> Guess he stopped cleaning the ocean. <laughs> well, he was never really cleaning the ocean to begin with. They were donating the money to another organization that was cleaning the ocean. He did one video of them cleaning a beach, but. That's not really what they were up to. They were they were focusing on uh, gathering money to donate to another organization that does that kind of stuff. I was already sub the Jade PG wins uh, when you first uh, when you first talked about, but you did mention his channel in reference to his grounded content. Did I? I might have. He's got uh, he had so he had lots of content out for grounded. He's not someone I watch consistently, but I've uh, I've definitely watched a bunch of his videos. There's not actually that many channels I subscribe to. Most of the most of the time, I just pick out like individual video content for something specific I'm looking for, and then a few people that I I follow that I go back to consistently. But yeah, I've definitely watched a bunch of Jade PG stuff. Oops. Ah. All over the place. Oh, you know what? Come here, bunny. Come back here. Get over here. Oh my god, hold still. God, finally murdered him. <laughs> the shots brought to you by Raid Chat Legends. <laughs> I like to watch cooking shows on YouTube sometimes. And there's this one Guga uh, Guga Foods that I watch. There's lots of like steak cooking and stuff, and even he does Raid Shadow Legend sponsorships. I'm like, I don't get it. <laughs> this video has been brought to you by Raid Shadow Legends. Now let's cook a steak. <laughs> to increase your bunny kill ratio, you need a bike. Yeah, I should get a bike. I wish I had a bike. I feel like they owe me a bike now. Ah, oh, the nails. Ten of them. You've got to eat. Looking at Stalker 2. Yeah. Brought to you by Manscaped. That too, yeah. Brought to you by Manscaped. Now let's cook a steak. Now at least uh, that one I, I get a little bit more because... Oh, jeez. You're, uh, you're, nope, you're targeting a market that's, uh, that's going to be interested in steaks, you know? <laughs> So Cryptic Fox sponsored this uh, pineapple egg pizza. <laughs> Ew. Pineapple yes, egg no. I get a lot of sponsorship emails. There's just very, very little that I actually accept. Because so often, I mean, at the size of my channel, so often the companies that are contacting me are so shady. <laughs> like, I have no way of knowing what they do and if they're actually legitimate or if it's just a complete scam so most of the time i don't i don't do sponsorships it's only every once in a while i'll accept one and more often than not only if it's for something i would have i would have played or used anyway yeah i like pineapple on pizza i'm that guy i'm sorry to everyone who's currently clicking the unsub button <laughs> i like pepperoni and pineapple on pizza what can i say <laughs> this stream is sponsored by 3M Giant Erasers. Like Raid Shadow Legends, to which this video is sponsored? Absolutely, this video is sponsored by Raid Shadow You know what's funny, though, is that... I'm, I'm not sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. I've never done a sponsorship with them, and yet here we are talking about them just because of how many things that they sponsor. Vito's Lone Shark. <laughs> hey, you need a loan? Go talk to Vito. He's got you covered. 
You don't need a loan? Go talk to Vito anyway. I think I'm gonna need... How did I only make 10 nails? I thought I crap. Did I not tell it to make 10 of these things? Unless... Oh, I typed in 10 and then I picked the item so it didn't craft it. Darn it. Wasting time! I'm gonna need more stone anyway, I think. Uh, well, let's make two floors for now. I can finish my porch anyway. He's got you covered! <laughs> yeah, I did a, uh, I did a sponsored video the other day for Hunter Call of the Wild. Again, that's a scenario where it's like, yeah, I would totally play that game. So, having the opportunity to do a sponsorship for it was, like, ideal. It's great. But I don't do, I don't do sponsored videos very often. If you were to pick a, pick a sponsor, what company would you pick? I don't know. That's a good question. I don't know, to be honest. I've never really given it any thought. More often than not, when, like, when it, content is sponsored, it's not that they're sponsoring the channel and just giving you money to do stuff all the time. It's more often a scenario where they're paying for specific content. Where they'll be like, I want a video of this game that's coming out to help increase the visibility of it. So, oh, I didn't shoot that baby deer. Uh, we want it to be, you know, this long and ideally showcase these kinds of things. Unless you're like a huge channel, like Mr. Beast, and then you're doing like honey commercials or something where you're, your face is just out there associated with the brand or whatever. Or if you're a streamer that's associated with like an energy drink company or something like that. Those, I, I don't know what the affiliate, what the setup of things is for that, whether it's just like an affiliate marketing thing or what, but... In the face! Ah, oh, that one missed. Oh. Taco Bell? <laughs> I mean, I, I like Taco Bell, but not because it's quality food. Yeah, that's a, that's, a, that's a wolf. Where is it? I heard you, wolf. Where are you? There you are. Please don't pick Skillshare. So sick of them as sponsors on YouTube. Well, again, it's it's a, the it's the nature of uh, the nature of the content. Like this this kind of thing doesn't really lend itself well to Skillshare. I don't think. I watch a lot of I watch a lot of funny stuff. I'm all over the place with my my consumption on YouTube. So there's this um, there's this channel I really like called Economics Explained that just goes into a lot of like uh, topics focused on. Uh, macro and microeconomics so i watch his content i watch like google foods for like steak cooking <laughs> i watch uh, a few gaming channels and that kind of stuff a lot of random things a lot of business news and things disney sponsors you and you kill bambi yeah i can't i can't i don't think they'll sponsor me just by virtue of the number of lambs that are deer or whatever that have died to my to my bow all right so I need uh, three, six, I need eight of these to start. Uh, we're gonna need more, obviously, but we'll start with eight. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> All right, I need, I need, I need a whole lot of stuff over here. Nails we got. Lumber. I'm gonna need to do some tree chopping, I think. Uh, I have a little bit of leather in there now, which is good. So 155 leather is a good start. So I need um, stone and wood at this point. Oh, it's getting dark over here, too. Ah! No! Oh. Never get the good shots on the run. Really, Kurt Disney would probably put Bambi on a street corner to make them more money. Uh, probably. Probably. <laughs> It has to make sense for a business, though, too, for a sponsorship, right? Like, what is it? What are they ultimately trying to get out of the relationship? It's easy when it's a, when it's a game, for example, that's coming out, because like they're raising visibility, and people get an opportunity to see what the gameplay is like, and then they know whether it's something that they're interested in playing themselves. But just like something broad, like Disney, for example, is a little bit different. You're, most of their advertising is about reinforcing the brand, not about selling something specific.
Don't be so sure about Disney. They helped produce ICP's fourth album, so... Well, yeah, fair enough. But again, there has to be something in it for them. Like, what's the, uh... What's the value proposition? <laughs> I over... I'm over-prepared for this mission? I'm sure I am. <laughs> I, I've just been going along doing my thing. <laughs> uh... Yeah. Guaranteed. What time is it, anyway? Oh, God, it's 11.30. What am I thinking? Maybe we should go do the mission now. <laughs> yes. I was uh, kind of working my way up to try to get to try to get a gun, but uh, uh, I probably don't even need it, right? Maybe. I don't know what this mission involves even. If I have to fight anything crazy, it would be nice to have a gun, but I don't know whether I do. Wait, there's a mission? <laughs> there is, yeah. <laughs> I've been just doing my thing, but uh, there is a mission here. Oh, I didn't have the fire active, do I? No. Wonder fire, activate. There we go. How far to the tech tree am I? Not that far. Uh, I'm tier three. A lot of things I haven't unlocked yet, though. I still have 12 points I can spend. I just haven't been in a rush to spend them until I actually have like specific needs for things. Uh, is my carrot cooked? It is kicked. I got a cooked carrot over here. I <laughs> haven't slayed a dragon. Four worms and maybe three cougars. Mission involves you getting eaten by a polar bear. <laughs> oh, it's one of those missions again? All right, let's go. Uh, let's go see what we can do here. So we have to collect the stuff that we need to do the drilling, and then we have to go find the spot where we're gonna have to do the drilling, and then we have to drill. And that gives us access to the desert. Now, whether we have to like fight something while we're doing that might be the difference between life and death. But uh, uh, you know, whatever. Metal bases for the desert. Spend them points. Well, again, I'll spend the points when I'm at the point where I, I need them. Like, I can just ditch all the points, but then what if I don't... Oh, yeah, I have a water skin. Uh, I could ditch all the points, but then... I might find that I bought something that I didn't need, and I don't have access to something that I do need. So, for the most part, I haven't been, like... I haven't just been spending them as soon as I have them. I've kind of been reserving them for when I see what I need. Uh... Alright. Let's put the meat in here... All right, let's go on a little uh, little expedition and see what we can find. How many arrows have I got? Nineteen. Oh, maybe I should make some arrows first. Bones. I'm out of bones. Really? I'm gonna have bones here somewhere. There we go. Lots of bones. Alright, that's better. And maybe I should repair my stuff too since my bone is or my bow is just about broken. <laughs> Wait a minute. I dropped my bow. Oh come on. Where did I put it? I just had it a second ago. Where did I Where on earth did I drop my bow? <laughs> is it in here? Did I put it away? No, that's the uh, that's just my wood bow. That's not my long bow. There it is. Oh no! Get out of there. I just want to pick up my bow. No, oh, yeah, I got it. I swear, I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached. Uh. Everything else, I guess, is probably fine. I'm sure it's fine. Maybe. Leave some of these arrows behind. Alright, let's go. Alright, first mission location is right here. Extra torch needed? Ah, we'll craft another one along the way if we need to. They last a really long time. I never did make the flatbread.
Loads for elephants. Yeah, but are we actually going into the desert on this mission, or are we just making an opening and then we're done? If we have to go into the desert, I'm, I'm definitely going to need to prepare more, because we're going to need, like, some rifles and stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got 20 kills already. Between all the wolves and stuff we've killed, we got to be over 20. Bow from the station is OP, is it? The only thing about the stuff from the station is you can't repair it in the mission. So if you break it, you're kind of stuck. I mean, short of making one out of, like, the normal resources or whatever. Only about 50 feet into the desert, okay. Yeah, I, I sort of thought this would be like the one from the beta, where you, you just sort of, like, you find it, you drill the opening, and then you're kind of there, but you don't need to go into the desert right away. And then I assume it'll open up other missions after this that will be more desert-focused. Station bows are awful. They don't get the damage multiplier. What, like when you do a sneak attack, you mean? Oh, this one gets plus 25% projectile damage, plus 300 rate of fire, so yeah. So, does it not give a damage multiplier on the arrows? Oh, trip. Just gotta walk into it a bit, okay. Alright. I'm assuming there'll be some sort of a hostile critter I'm gonna have to cope with. Hopefully bone arrows and a bow are good enough. And here comes the rain. I don't know how bad this storm's gonna be. Let's make a little opening. I can't tell if this qualifies me in shelter or not yet. This we'll find out in a second. Use crappy bow until heading for targets. Hmm. National Geographic Partners LLC is a joint venture between the Walt Disney Company, which owns 73% of shares. I found out when I went to watch Alaskan State Troopers video on YouTube channel claimed by Disney. Oh. That's interesting. Lots of those little sub-ownerships for rights and stuff. Disney's kind of a behemoth. They've gobbled, gobbled up all kinds of stuff, though. Let me know if you need help wiring up the drill. It's not the biofuel one. Wiring it up. I hope I don't have to provide wires. That would suck. Come on, weather. You know what they need to add to this game is a raincoat or something that you can wear that make it so the rain doesn't bother you. Wires and solar are provided. It can be a bit tricky to use. Okay. Huh. Yeah, the cave's raining. There's uh, a bit of a visual glitch sometimes, unfortunately, with the game where... Oh, this isn't even that bad of a storm. It says storm incoming, but... It's just showers. <laughs> like on the Xenomorphs of a Disney princess now, Ripley. <laughs> she's, uh, she's a little rough around the edges for a princess, maybe. 
when Disney gobbled up Fox did they get you to? Ha, but I'm bump. They actually, um, they gobbled up uh, a multi-channel network called Maker Studios quite some time ago. And Maker Studios was uh, a company that had signed a bunch of YouTube channels and represented them. Like, uh, actually, they had like PewDiePie and um, Stampy Longnose, a bunch of others. And so when they when they took over Maker Studios, they actually became the uh, the uh, not like the owners, but like the the contract holders for a bunch of these YouTubers. So for a little while, they did have like YouTube content as a sub thing for Disney. Okay, we've got a uh, tunneling drill, so we'll take that. Lagos unit figures the cave system's the key to getting through to the desert. But tidal forces from Minos mean subterranean networks are anything but stable. They figured you'll need drilling equipment. Alright, well I got drilling equipment. Waiting for Disney to buy Walmart. <laughs> Walmart's publicly traded, that's not going anywhere. How far away this drill is. For the generator, you'll need wiring. Well, somebody said we didn't actually have to produce the wiring, it would just supply it. I don't recall seeing anything in the uh, crafting menus for wires. Oh, mind you, it wasn't maybe looking all that close. Clinger's now a Disney princess. <laughs> This game's awful for singer players. Is this true? I don't know. It, I guess it depends. Um, the hard part with it is if you get killed by something or knocked out by something, you end up having to respawn. Whereas if you're playing multiplayer, your friends can then, you know, kill whatever you're fighting and then stand you back up on your feet again, which certainly helps a lot. It does add to the difficulty in that you can't you can't be knocked down by things or you're done. We're not done done, but like you gotta go back. And it does take longer to accomplish things because you have to, uh, you know, it takes longer to gather resources and build and whatever. Um, but it's not impossible solo. I've been playing solo all through the beta. And most of the time since launch, actually, aside from a couple times playing with my buddy Nate. Oh, that's gonna... Don't hurt me. Depends what you like, though. It, it helps that I'm streaming the game, so I have... I have something to do while I'm playing. And I can definitely see that making a difference in, uh, like, how enjoyable it is. I'm not just sitting here playing all by myself. I'm chatting with people while I'm playing the whole time. Call players share tasks, so get guns. Hey, Augman, how you doing? Man, another storm. Oh, oh that's a wolf. No, that's not my bow. God. Kind of with the old pickaxe in the forehead, but it didn't really do a lot. I just got out of a storm. I got a, another one to deal with. This has definitely been the stormiest mission that I've had so far. Alright, there's the other crate right there. I don't think there's a cave nearby either. Yeah, there's the wiring. Now we gotta go over to here. Can I pick your brain, Mr. Wolf? <laughs> he approved and then realized afterwards he probably shouldn't have.
You know what I don't get is they're giving us a solar powered cell. But we're supposed to be doing this in a cave or something. Isn't that kind of counterproductive? How's it getting solar power in a cave? Or do I have to set the solar panel outside and then run the wires all the way into the machine or something? It could be kind of weird. Oh, okay. We got to run them all the way in? That's something. Ain't that a thing. Solar candles outside. Yeah, okay. Yep. Alright, I get it. I get it. Messy. And I assume there'll be cave worms we have to deal with, too. Yeah, the fancy version of this game or the standard one? Uh, I'm assuming it's the standard one, to be honest. Uh, I got a copy of the game for the developer. Um, but I think I just got a standard version because I didn't have the, the pre-order suit that you could make. If you pre-ordered the game. If you and Nate attack each other off YouTube? Uh, no, because we're friends. Gaming's different, obviously, than, uh... <laughs> than real life. <laughs> Any plans to do any more Oni content in the future? I do intend to go back to the game. I've just been so busy playing so many other things that I haven't gone back to play Oni. I know tomorrow is when the, um... Spaced Out DLC, like, officially releases. It's been, in, like, an early access release for a while. So I probably should go back and play some more of it. No. I'm, just, here, I'm getting ready to cut, cut into a, a stone over a cave. I don't even need to. Storms, I think, again. Alright, what do we got to deal with here? At least it's unlimited wires. Well, that's good. If I recall correctly, during the beta, there was a wild animal in the cave, like a, oh god, like a cougar or something. Cave's down there by that lake. Cue the bears. I want to make a bedroll. I should have brought enough fur. That may have been foolish on my part. I would prefer, if possible, if I die, to not have to go all the way back and have to run all the way here again. That would suck. That's a bison there. <laughs> Failed shot. Oh. Leather, but no fur. The last seven days vid, you mentioned something about uh, Nate, but I missed it. Are the two of you planning on teaming up for seven days stream? Uh, I'm not sure. Nate had mentioned that uh, he was debating trying the game out again. 
the, the big thing for him was just that uh, after playing it for a while, he uh, he found the he found it, the repetitive nature of it not entertaining. He wasn't really having fun with it. So I don't know whether he's going to come back to play it again or not. But um, that was the that was the gist of it anyway. Was that he was debating it. For a second there, I thought I shot the baby again. <laughs> Not the baby. Oh my god, I cannot get any fur. Why didn't I bring enough fur? I only need ten fur. said, what? Why is there an elephant out here? This isn't the desert. There is no way this bow was good enough to take on an elephant. Son of a gun. <laughs> Fiddly D, this may require a tetanus shot. I can't even imagine how many arrow shots it's gonna, it would take to take down a freaking elephant. I thought the bear was coming for me. Oh, it is. Oh god! Oh, oh, that's gonna hurt me. Come here, bear. It's me. Oh, jeez, wolves too! Why? Why, bear? Why? No, no, no! Ah, no! <laughs> oh! Why? Why? <sighs> I was hunting for the fur that I needed to make a bedroll so that if I died, I wouldn't have to run all the way back. And lo and behold, I doubt I'm going to run all the way back. Um, run. I'm not wearing good armor either. I just had cloth armor on. Ugh. Oh my god, wait a minute. Did I set a respawn point on my bed? I don't remember if I did. Ah! <laughs> I forgot to set my respawn point on my other bed. Wow. <laughs> wow. Another beard for the super chat. Oh, oh no. Where am I? Oh, okay. Drop me by my house. Get me out of here. Stupid rocket. Stupid rocket. Stupid bed. Ah, ah. <laughs> and I'm bleeding. That's even better. <laughs> Ashley with the super chat. It's officially a good stream. Well, thanks, Ashley. I appreciate the super chat. And your appreciation of my demise. Uh, I do have at least a bow that I can use and some arrows. It's obviously not a good one, but it's something. Um, I have a spare oxygen bottle here, which is good. I can take that so I can get back to my body with it. Uh, I would like to make leather armor if at all possible. Because <laughs> I feel like I'm going to need it. I don't have enough leather. That's great. Oh, it's actually fiber I'm lacking. I got that. What am I missing? Uh, legs and hands. See, this is why I was trying to make a point of getting to the, like, 
not that I had a rifle. Now I've got to deal with that elephant. I don't even know what I'm going to do with that. Like, honestly, what on earth am I going to do with an elephant? It's ridiculous. Uh, bones. I need to make a suture kit. Okay, elephant gun. I don't have an elephant gun. I don't have a gun at all. Oh my god, look how much XP I lost, too, for that death. When you die, it goes all the way back to the start of the level. I thought it was just like a certain amount, like a fixed amount you lose, but it knocked me all the way back to the start of the level. Yeah, the elephants tend to get stuck on things. Alright, there's that, I guess. Small, uh... I think the small victories where I can get them. Um, I need sticks, although why I need sticks to make a bedroll, I don't know. That's what I need. Okay. Bedroll. Crafted. I'm going to need to make a campfire. So I'm going to need stone. Because I can't have a bedroll without a campfire. Leave that behind. Leave this behind. Keep the sticks on me, I guess. Son of a gun. Doesn't that just figure... Rotten bear, <laughs> dude! I'll get a shotgun if you got the if you got the rifle. Well, I haven't got uh, I haven't got a bench to craft it yet. I uh, I decided that it was taking too long, and I just uh, I went out there and went to go get the stuff. So my body now has the stuff we need to complete the mission on it, which I guess will be important to get. Um, should probably make the proper bow. Oh, I need like everything. More leather. I don't have enough leather. Oh, maybe I do. Yes, good. I can make a bow. So this bow can stay here. Alright, in this chest I have floor pieces, so I can take, uh... Why don't I take just one? There we go. Take two of those. Um, I've got enough stuff to make walls. There we go. So I can make a simple little shelter now when I get there, too. Uh, I should probably take wood for the fire. Okay, let's go. Gotta go find my body. Look how far we have to run. <laughs> Son of a gun. Never fails. Never fails. Make elephant-proof walls. <laughs> I don't know if that's even possible. Yep, didn't set my spawn point again. Your map looks reversed from mine. Well, maybe, I don't know, maybe it puts you down in different spots. I thought you always dropped you at the same spot for all the missions, like regardless of whose game you were playing on, but. Must be your luck, I did not run into a bear or elephant when I did the quest. Well, that just figures. Spawn points out. Fiddle dee dee. <laughs> I'm in the mirror universe. Take a bed with me? Yeah, I have a bed and I have a campfire and I have a, something to make a little... little one square shelter. Hmm. 
<laughs> At least you're consistent. <laughs> yeah, we've finished the missions before. All the missions we've done, we've gotten through. This one's uh, not starting well, though. Continuing well? I guess we've been playing for like three hours, so I don't, I don't think we can hope to start anymore. So far to run. <clears throat> Rabbit is sad now that I uh, I set the spawn point. Yeah. Typical. So typical. Bring any bear repellent? Just this bow and arrow I have, but it's not going to be particularly effective against bears. In fact, my money's kind of on a bear killing me on the way there. <laughs> So annoying when you die and lose the XP in this game. Yeah, that um, that knockback effect is really brutal. Like, I lost almost an entire level there. That stings. But if I had crossed over just into the next level, it's not like it knocks you back to the previous level. Bow challenge, uh, the bow challenge that gives you a chance of rooting is great. Oh, I bet. I don't think I have any talent points I can spend. Nope. No talent points, and we're a long way from leveling now. Frassin, frassin. Hey, Cryptic, I've been watching since Valheim. Love your taste in games. Well, thanks, Mike. Glad you enjoy them. I have the rifle unlocked, but I don't have the stuff set up to build it. We took so long doing uh, like mining stone or mining metal and smelting it and doing all that kind of stuff, and then uh, I was just like, ah, let's just run out and see if we can do this without making a rifle. Now I kind of wish we had just built stuff. <laughs> Valheim death equals a loss of many levels of all skills. Yeah, I've never really paid attention, though, to my skill level in that game. I died a bunch. I lost a lot of skill points. Like, this game, though, like, when... Was that a bear? In this game, when you die, because it sets you back, it's actually slowing your progression to unlock other things you can you can build. Not really so much the case with Valheim, it just, you like, lose combat traits and things. That sounds a little bearish. Need stone so I can, oh. Naturally, I don't have a pickaxe. I need to be able to make sure that I can make, uh, make some more arrows. Watch the barrel be camping my corpse. Probably. That would be my luck. At least it's not a polar bear. occurs to me I should probably make a skinning knife just in case I do have to fight the thing right in my face. Stone skinning knife is going to do terrible damage, but it'll be better than the rate at which I can fire arrows. Ashley with Super Chat, calling all bears, fresh fox. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ashley. 
You're delighting in my getting myrtleized. It's a little bit too much. It's a bipolar bear. <laughs> Heard the bear, but I don't see it. That concerns me. There it is. Uh, was that not the only one? There are a lot of noises going on right now, and I can't tell what direction they're coming from. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I think I might have heard a warthog, maybe. Oh, that bear's wandering away. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it be. We'll see what happens. Maybe that bear was the one that was down here that killed me. Although I'm not really banking on it. I couldn't find some honey to tempt them away from me. Yeah. Be like, here, little Pooh Bear. I don't need fur anymore because I brought a bed. Hey, take it all. I don't have enough room. Uh, yikes. Okay, I don't need this. That can go away. Don't need all the stone anymore. <laughs> all right, I had all these things on here. I guess I can uh, I can destroy this armor since I've got the leather armor on now. Yeah, right, let's go make a make a shelter so I can sleep. Antelope said, What? There's an antelope. Okay, deploy. Boop. Uh, I need to deploy the fire. Deploy my sleeping bag. I did it. Hopefully. Oh, it's not late enough. 7.57. I'm <laughs> just a little bit short. 1800. There we go. Good boldy, everybody. Good boldy. Uh, maybe I should cook some... Yeah, actually, got... I don't really need to cook the meat. 
put it in there anyway. I got the device, so that's okay. Uh, three, I want to switch to my bow and arrows. Okay, I don't know what to do about this elephant. I don't know if I have to kill it to get by it or what. If it's still there. If I have to fight this elephant, it's gonna own me. <laughs> Need to dress up as a mouse. <laughs> Maybe it's Dumbo the Great. Maybe I don't have to kill it. Pretty sure this will turn out badly. I'm pretty sure you're right. <gasps> Is that the wolf or the bear? A cougar! Oh, good! Oh, good! Multiple cougars! Honestly! What is with this place? <laughs> Good grief! And the elephant's not walking around outside anymore. Where'd the elephant go? Huh. Alright, there's antelopes and then there are hills. Oh, my arrow's back. Might need those. Now the cave drills through the rock fall, push through the cave. So I guess I've gotta locate the drill point first. Wait, where's my that's a spare bow? My torch ready. Oh, I want this knife down here too. This one can go. Steel pickaxe can go down here. Okay. Time to find out what's in this cave that's gonna kill me, because I'm sure there's something. It is really freaking dark in here. Cougar. Oh, good. Woo! Eat a cougar! Please tell me you don't have more friends. Push through the cave, deploy the drill. I'd love to know where that elephant went. Please don't wander into the elephant down here. That would suck. Where the heck do I deploy the drill? I thought it was down here. Careful what I ask for her. I don't see where I'm deploying this thing. Where's the rock wall? I, I, last time it was, uh... It was down by the water here last time, I, I think. During the beta. But I thought it was more obvious where to put it. Is it right here? There we go. All right, drill deployed. Power the drill, uh, mine through the rock fall. So, I assume I've got to do the wiring bit. And this thing. Press F to access. No network connection. Maybe I have to start at the solar panel first, maybe? Get the wire. Yeah, this is going to suck. <laughs> um... Oh, okay. 
Oh. Uh, right. Can't see anything. This is wonderful. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I've got to, like... I've got to place it along the path in the dark. Seems logical. <laughs> Hold on a second here. We need to torture something down here. Wonder Twin powers activate. Where's the... Oh, God. There it is. All right, so back to seven. Click there. Hopefully that didn't mess it up. Oh my God. This mission is brutal. Oh wait, six. Drop that. I can't. I can't actually even see where I left the. Oh, you know what? Let me make another torch. Can I not make another torch? <laughs> I don't have sticks because I put them all down here. Uh, split stack. Okay. Which way am I even going? God, I couldn't even see that thing. Ah, oh, I just made another torch for no reason. All right, whatever, it's fine. Give me back my arrows. Uh, seven. Get out of the way, Shammy. I'm coming through. Ain't nobody got time for this. I don't know if this weather is going to be any good for a solar panel, but... I miss. Hi, wolf. Good lord. I just switched to my knife, I guess. I'm really hurt. Uh, I hope I have a lot of meat on me. All right. Good lord. I'm just glad I didn't have to fight that elephant. That would have sucked. Okay, you cleared it. Nice work. What was that noise? Oh my god! What the? 
<laughs> really? You gonna do me like that? Ah, I've got no stamina or something. I can hardly move. Oh, God, God. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> hey, where did I get a wood wall from? Oh, I must have made that by accident somehow. Oh, wait. No. Did I, I bet you didn't put it back on my little bed thing. Whatever. It's fine. Fine. We didn't need it anyway. Almost died again. I think I healed up. Why didn't they show up before? It's gonna be another one here again. Where'd he go? Still got my arrow stuck in it. <laughs> Give me that back. Big jerk. Hello? I think the cave was, uh, cave just was in a slightly different spot this time, um, relative to the beta. It was, uh, I think the wall we had to drill before was, like, right here. I could be wrong, though. Uh, do I have to do it again? Drill through the rock fall, push through the cave, deploy the drill. Uh. What? Where'd my drill go? I gotta, I gotta get the drill again, huh? Where is it? Did it fall on the ground here somewhere? Oh, there it is. Okay, so we'll have to move more wires out here, I guess. Can't even see the. Uh, oh, there we go. Uh, I says pardon. Place wire. I can't connect it there. It's in midair. I can't connect it. That's great. Um, let's go like this. Did it work? I think it worked. One twin powers activate. It's not working. Uh, all right, that's not cool. So the wire is fine all the way back to here, but then something this connection doesn't really work. Can I? Can I pick this thing up? How do I make this work? I think I connected it. <laughs> uh, would you consider using the difficulty level just for fun, please? What do you mean by using the difficulty level? I'm confused. Right click with the wiring tube on the tool. Oh, okay. Uh, hold on. Seven. Cancel placement. No, I can't. Uh, Oh yeah, that works. Okay. That one's cancelled. I think that's connected, but I 
can't really tell. Doesn't sound like the drill's running. Yeah, this one's already hard difficulty, this particular mission. At least it said it was hard. Why is this not working? Green good, yellow bad. I, I sort of thought so, but it wasn't letting me undo stuff. <sighs> Gotta be this connection point, like, right here. Um... I can't undo the wire, it's... No, no, there, it's gone. Okay. That one's not undoing. <laughs> I can't undo this one that's in the wall, so that one will just have to stay, I guess. Is that a bad connection? I don't understand. <laughs> Killing me. Come on, game. Don't be like that. Oh, that's why that. Okay. Uh, cancel both of those. This is really hard to do in the dark. Kind of awkward. Is it working? <laughs> Maybe just run into the solar panel again? I'm, I really don't want to run it all the way through the dark again. I might have to, but I really don't want to. Just reset the solar panel. Hold the pickup. Take two. Eight. Blap. Seven. No. Ah! Oh. I didn't connect those two. Which two? I don't know which two you're talking about. I, I took the uh, I took the wire I was running off the drill and I connected it to this existing line, but it doesn't seem to like it. I'm gonna be really unhappy if they actually want us to run an entirely new separate line for this. The drill is still not doing anything. There's a line disconnected in the rock. Well. Is it when it passes through the rock it doesn't like it or something? Like, what the heck?
Can't even cancel this one. It's just it's like it doesn't exist. Come on, game. This job sucks. Why? Why is that wrong? I don't I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. They don't know. I watched someone do this yesterday. I didn't have to, but it went from uh, but I went from the power source to the drill. Like I know it works part of the way because I had it. I had the other drill go. So the fact that I was able to do that should suggest that the the, the power works. Try and clean up all the wires that I have here and see if I can relay this whole thing. Killing me. Stupid game. That one I can't even pick up. These ones here I can't even like normally I can like right click and make them go away, but oh there we go. Oh my god. Just Pick up the stupid wire. Whatever. I'm going back to the origin. Back to here. It's not the very origin, but we're gonna we're gonna start here. I'll, I'll connect. Oh. Matthew Coffee, the super chat. I just ordered a PC and can't wait to play games like this soon. Well, congrats, Matthew. Um. Let me move this torch into the water so I can actually see something. Ugh. This is killing me. This is the end of joy right here. Okay. Connect here. Oh, time. Oh, jeez. Really? Ah, oh, thanks for the poison, you jerk. What happened? It broke. This rotten worm thing broke my wire. Matthew Coffee, thanks for clicking the join button. Appreciate the support. Welcome to Team Green. Um, I guess I gotta reconnect the wire again? Looks like that sucker's ready to go. Better be. That sucked. Who brings a solar drill into a cave anyway? <laughs> Why don't we just bring some fuel and run it? Or at least like charge up a battery outside or something. Yeah, whatever you do, don't run that cable through water or <laughs> Let's go.
96%. Another one bites the dust. Another Let's one bites the dust. Here. For real this time. Enter the desert canyon. Why does this seem like a poor choice? Where'd my torch go? It's on the ground. Welcome, welcome, my friends, to the hot and sweaty desert. Let's see if I get eaten by an animal as soon as I get through. That'd be great. Let's maybe go stealthy like. Oh, we got hyenas. Oh, they're cougars. Cougars and hyenas. And elephants. Lions and tigers and bears, oh my. Can I get on top of this thing? I want to get on top of this rock where this elephant hopefully won't be able to hit me. What you doing, cougar? Missed him. But you regret that, don't you? No, not Stampy! Can he hit me? How fast is the elephant? It's attacking something. Hello, Mr. Elephant. That's a level 75 elephant. All I've got is this crummy little bow. <laughs> That's a nope. That's a nope. The one elephant climbed right up the cliff and got me. Aim for the trunk. I shot it in the forehead, and that didn't, uh, that didn't get a crit, by the way. Great. Now the thing's gonna be in the cave in my way. I can't complete the mission until I get past this thing. Anyone know if levels mean anything? Uh, for the enemies? Uh, it's gotta have some relationship to the amount of health or something they have, I would think, or maybe the amount of damage they do, but... Is it sleeping? Oh, we're sleeping all right. Oh, I'm stuck. Can't see where I'm going. Oh, God. I think it's stuck in the opening. <laughs> Eat it, elephant. Ah, I killed an elephant! Alright, we did it. 100% skill base. Not at all related on cheese. Uh, I want my arrows back, thank you very much. Oh, it's still staring at me, that's awkward. Um, I dropped my knife at some point. In my panicked button mashing, I lost my knife. That's great. Hey, I didn't want a fair fight. I just wanted to win. You monster! Oh, I can't see where I'm going again. I have no stamina. Stupid pneumonia. Where are you, elephant? This one's giving up on me really quick every time. Oh boy. Oh boy, that's gonna hurt. Oh, thanks for the push. It actually didn't hurt that much. 
All things considered, the damage it's doing is not that crazy. Oh, it's doing the same thing. It's like getting hung up over here. <laughs> that looks really awkward. Ah, he's dead! Wow, I'm surprised these things are dying that easily, all things considered. They don't hit that hard, even. I just, I don't have a knife to skin them, though, because I, I screwed up and dropped it back here somewhere. Somewhere in my panicked button mashing, I threw my knife on the ground again. Not sure how. Alright. I think, uh, I think we're alright. You're open enough, Icarus, for them. We did it! And everyone else. Was yeah. it a station knife? Nah, it was just a, uh... Just an iron knife. Nothing fancy. Yeah, cryptic. Big game hunter. You know what else is up to me? I'm getting off this planet. Somebody gonna get killed by a cougar on the way to the cave. You dropped it when you were fighting the wolves, so it's in the cave somewhere. Yeah, I know it's in there somewhere. It doesn't really matter. It's, uh... It's an iron knife. We're gonna leave it behind anyway. That sounds predatory. Something's attacking me, and I don't know from where. Oh! God, it respawned! You jerk! Those cave worms suck. For the record. <laughs> I'm... I'm... <laughs> I have nothing to heal myself with. Um... Back at my campfire... I had some meat in the fire, I think. Hopefully I left it going. Mr. McMullen's bot with a super chat. An elephant never forgets unless it's dead. Then it forgets. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks for the super chat. Yeah, doing the wiring in the dark is definitely not my favorite part of that mission. That's for sure. What are you? Hyenas out here now. Back. Freaking warthogs. Okay, wait until it turns into a zombie elephant. <laughs> Get me out of here. What a hot mess that was. Fox has the entire cast of Lion King after him now. <laughs> I'm gonna say I'm like Scar. Be prepared for the chance of a lifetime. Be prepared for sensational news. At least I had some meat I could heal with. Uh, how's my oxygen doing? Oh, so. Okay, let's get out of here. We gotta go get to the dropship. Hopefully, alive. Wish I was that good with the bow in my game. I don't... I, I... I really, really wonder if I have some sort of aim assist turned on in some way. Because I feel like it, it... It goes for the kill shot a lot. I don't... I, I don't recall changing any settings for it, but... Eh, that's a barrier here. Just want to go home. I can't tell if the bear's ahead of me or behind me. Or above me. 
You do Vox when you turn on the kill shot camera. Is that what it is? Is the kill sh is it the kill shot camera that gives it the aim assist? Cause I just kinda like the uh the view when it does the whole zoomy thing and then I'm gonna turn on my level. I'm getting out of here. Get that bear. I think I'd know if a bear was under me. <laughs> Try turning off kill cam. I don't think this game pauses, but gameplay, field of view, kill cam. Let's turn that off. We'll see if it makes a difference. It probably will. Because <laughs> it's kind of ridiculous the shots I can make in this game. It's There's no way, but... Bear, that's the fastest way back to your ship, but it's not. I, I set my spawn point back here, so if I die, I just respawn back where I was and have to go get my stuff. Bear is not the fastest way. Yeah, now I'll miss everything. Almost guaranteed. Almost guaranteed. Right, and a storm. Only wins. We can handle wins. Well, I don't need my stuff, but I do need it to survive long enough to get back to the ship. Like, I don't have to bring it with me or anything, but I do have to, uh... I do have to live. Why are we hearing hyenas? Uh, well, there were some hyenas that came through the cave after I opened it, but... Die, pick a bedroll, die again. And then come down at a dropship. <laughs> Survival's for people concerned about having a future. Almost at most of your XP. Yeah, getting there. We're getting there. I don't know if it gives us an XP bonus when we finish the the, uh, the mission or not. I didn't really notice on the other missions. I wonder how much of that was a function of killing those uh, those elephants. Thousand XP per elephant. That's a decent amount. If I can get this uh, pneumonia to go away, it would make the trip back a lot faster. I keep having to walk. Killing me. Next time we're making antibiotic paste or whatever it is that gets rid of the uh, pneumonia. Does it matter how you die or what kills you in regards to XP loss or maybe how far from spawn point your body is? I don't think so. It seems like when you die, you surrender all of the XP you've earned in the current level. At least that's what it looks like. And so you end up having to re-earn the XP from that level again. But it won't, like, knock you back a level. Yeah. Definitely not uh, getting the, uh, the kill shots now. Nope. Not again. I think that wolf died. <laughs> 
How many arrows have we got left? Fourteen. So I don't think it was all kill cam, but definitely some of those crazy shots I got where I was like shooting something all the way across a lake. That has to have been all about the aim assist. <laughs> Dying twice in one mission doesn't hurt you too bad. Uh, no, because it'll. Well, I mean, if you if you got close to leveling and then died and then got close to leveling and died again, it would kind of really suck because you'd be basically earning that same level three times. Sort of depends. Like if you die like twice when you're at, like just into the new into the level, it has almost no impact. Survival games needs holes in the ground that break your ankles. <laughs> yeah, great. Just watch Kill Cam will be on the next uh, next time he plays the game. Probably. I like the kill shots sometimes. Those are fun. It's like those crazy shots from like all the way across the map. Wonder if the ship will crash in the winds. No, I'm, I'm thinking not. Hope they're not expecting me to bring the drill back because I didn't bring it. You made it. All right, I got my uh, my two pickaxe things. Let's get out of here. Uh, I'm not trying to return to the toilet. Warning, you have lost connection to your servers. Oh God, no, don't do this to me. Not like this. Trade order will settle your claims and drop your blah, blah, blah. Yeah, there we go. Phew! Keep an eye on your XP when you're close to leveling. Focus on doing less dangerous things. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably a good idea. <laughs> Can you imagine if we got through all that? And then the game just like crashed and wouldn't let me complete it. A billion extra for all the cabling. <laughs> they probably should. We kind of used a lot. Okay, so commission complete, 125 reward. Let's claim that. Delete that. Uh, head over to the workshop here. Now, player tracker module provides real time location data on team members. Kickfall module, 25% falling resist, plus two inventory slots, plus 50 fire resist. Lower consumption on stuff. Increased weight capacity. Where's the one that's like a light? Is there is there not like a, a, a light option for in the suit? Anti-parasitic vaccines. I need... Maybe it's the actual suit itself. One of them will have a light in it or something. Because they have a button for it, for crying out loud. But I haven't seen a suit that has a light. Oh, maybe it's this crazy environmental suit. It's like carbon armor stuff. That's cool. Alright, I have 150 to spend. Uh, I already unlocked this thing, so I'm going to craft one of these. So I can increase my movement speed. Uh, and then maybe I'll hold on to the other 100 points for now. Uh, it is already almost 1 o'clock in the morning my time, which is a little longer than I would normally stream for, but I wanted to finish the mission. We got that knocked out, at least the way to the desert is open. Uh, thanks so much, everyone, for coming to hang out tonight. I really appreciate it. As I mentioned, uh, I, I should be streaming tomorrow night. That'll be 9 p.m. Eastern. But on Friday this week, uh, I'm going to be out, so I won't have a stream on Friday night. 
Uh, and then we'll probably be back again on Saturday. But uh, thank you so much, everyone, for coming to hang out. If you don't currently subscribe to the channel, click on that subscribe button. Come back and hang out with us again. Appreciate all the super chats this evening. I'm, as always, Cryptic Fox. I'll see all of you next time.